the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Chanda will be supporting Stamparama, an incredible art stamp and paper craft show. And we would like to invite you to come along and meet us on Sunday the 3rd of May. Stamparama brings together the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. You'll find us in Hall 2 at the Yorkshire Event Centre, located within the great Yorkshire showground, Harrogate. Advanced ticket holders receive an early show entry from 9.30am, allowing you extra time to browse before the show opens at 10am. There'll be free demonstrations, make and takes, and also a refreshment area where you can take the weight off your feet after all that shopping. Tickets are available from Hochanda in advance for only £3 each. So what are you waiting for? Treat yourself to a fantastic, crafty day out. Order your tickets today from Hochanda.com. Hello and good morning. Now, this morning, because it's Sunday, you've only got one more hour, not just to get only your uh, sunrise specials, but also your seven-day savers. So have a look on the website and shop ahead. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Hello. Good Hello. morning. So you had an all right trick because we were I worried did. about the wind. We were, but it wasn't too bad this morning. That's good. Yeah. I was walking, walking around <laughs> with the umbrella, <laughs> taking off like Mary Poppins. Other oh, characters oh. available. Why is it every weekend for the last? I think it's the last month we've had these storms. I don't know. It's very annoying. I think we're on. There's Storm Hall, hey? Storm George, I think now. Yeah. With the J. Yeah. That's a new one. Yeah. We've had Dennis, we've had yeah. um, Kira. Do you think we're going to just go through the whole alphabet, like in the next week, you know? <laughs> this is a good point, our Meg. Who names the storms? I'd like yeah, to know. I'd like to know that as is well. Is there an official storm namer? There must be. <laughs> <laughs> there must be. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a storm namer. <laughs> Strange. Now then, topic, talking of name, I'm going to say a quick hello because we've got the early birds in with us. We've you, got yeah. Heather, Diamond, Dave, uh, Dawn's there as well this morning. Oh, you're all up bright and early, aren't you? For Sarah Sunday John's as well. there as well. Uh, but lovely to have your company as usual, of course. Indeed. Now then, where are we starting? Deal of the day. Deal of uh, the day. We've got some fantastic, oh, sorry about the glare, I've just realised, some lovely uh, 12 by 12 sheets, all different patterns, something for everybody, and you're getting the entire range. Look at this. 200 sheets. Wow. Wow, lots of different colours, different variations here. We've got, I think, something for everyone, haven't we? We've yeah. got bright, we've got florals, we've got animal print in there as well. Uh, oh, what's that? Hedgehogs! Oh. oh, that's so cute. There's a little hedgehog on there. and oh, I look think at that. There's something in a plant pot. There's A little mouse on there. Yeah. Uh, there's a little girl in a bonnet as well. Cute, very cute. That is pretty, isn't it? Then yeah. we've got quite uh, distinct patterns as well. Bold. Very bold. Then we've got something a little bit more subdued, but an overall pattern again. Yep. I mean, it's a variation, so you're going to get all sorts, aren't you? Spring colours, summer colours, autumn colours in here. Uh, contents will vary, but you're just going to get a really, really nice mix. And what I like about these is they're all sealed mm. in individual packets, Absolutely. so it's going to keep them nice and clean for you, isn't it? Um, really nice, actually, if you run your craft groups too, because you can divvy them out. And it works out, I believe, at 12 
12 pence per wow. sheet. There's a massive saving on this. There's even more. Oh, you, aren't you good? You, I, I normally wreck the pack shot and then leave it. I'm terrible. Well, I am conscious. We have got some more at the bottom there as well, which yes. are different again. So, Should we have a, oh, there's, yes. there's a oh. spring one. Look, look, look. Hang on. Oh, well spotted. Sheep heads. <laughs> <laughs> Not decapitated, but <laughs> I knew it. Baker said, "Don't say that," but I've said it. Well, they're just floating sheep heads. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Catherine. Uh, we've got all sorts, got? haven't we? We've got some baby theme ones as well. We've got some gents. Oh, look at the little kittens there as well. Very nice. There we go. £24.98. An enormous saving of £75 here. Item number 618816. Of course, this is our deal of the day around until seven o'clock tomorrow as long as we've got this the uh, stocks of course mm -hmm. but we've got lots coming up as well because of course we've got the sunrise specials <laughs> we're discussing sides <laughs> yes. which sides i do you know normally i think i'm on the I don't. I don't know why. Does it feel? Does it feel oh, weird this we way? This? No, I don't mind this way. You don't mind this way. I just wonder. No. Are you know that side? Sit. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm a bit taller. I have to be on this side because I'm a bit. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't, I don't, I don't care works. where I am as long as I'm here. That's all. I, all that matters to me. Bless now you. I love, love, love. We both like these. The first item. I think yeah. these are so cute. And I've just noticed as well, which I didn't spot before, the thickness of the MDF. It's a really good thickness. Mm. These are great. You've got Craft Yourself Silly MDF Cat Hangers. Now you're getting two lying down and two climbing. Now you're getting what you're seeing here, but there's another two yes. behind us, isn't there, Alex? <gasps> yeah, they're here. Because I know you've got your dogs, but have you ever had cats? Yes. Are you a cat lover? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had a cat called Jasper who lived to be 22. That's really good age, mm. that. Mm. In real years. I wonder what that makes mm. it. Oh, no, hang on, isn't it? Isn't it a dog is seven years? But I don't know what a cat is per no. year. You know what I mean? I don't either. It was a rescue cat as well. Aww. Yeah, I love cats. Yeah, I um, love Jasper. Now you know the you know the bags of googly eyes that you get that you get a hundred <laughs> googly eyes in and you use one and you've got ninety nine left that yeah. you don't know that you could put <laughs> pop them on here. <laughs> well, that's at least four being used, isn't it? Yeah. Now these look great, especially the one going downwards. That's my favourite. Put that on the edge of a door frame. Yeah. It looks really cute. You could just silhouette these. Just paint them black. They look great as silhouettes, wouldn't they? Yeah. Great oh, fun. Now, we're getting some information here. So for the f for the first two years of a cat's life are roughly twenty really twenty five human years. Oh my goodness. And after that, every additional year is four years. Why is so? That? How old was my cat in cat years then? Thousand and four, by the sounds <gasps> of it. That it was really old. Aww. Twenty-two years is a long, long age for a cat. Mm. Oh, we can see we They're can doing work more this maths now. now. Oh, yeah. oh dear. Twenty-two, twenty-five. My cat lived to be one hundred and five cat years. That's lovely. Well, I want to know one thing then. Yeah. Why did not the Queen send? <laughs> <laughs> Send a happy birthday at 100 cat years. Yes, it's true. Apparently, you have to apply to really? the Queen. Okay, you, apparently, you have to request a letter. Oh, I see, because more people are living to 100. Well, your cat oh. should have written that letter, got a little <laughs> paw out. It should have done, shouldn't it? Oh, dear. <laughs> That I love the voices in our head. I'm sorry, everybody. We're trying to include you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it is one of those questions. It's, it's the same thing. Yeah. We ask about a lot of things. How do people know this? How do they know these? These? How can they make statements like this without verification from an, a cat? A cat, you know, to say the first two years of my life is actually 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it. Just don't get it. Anyway, these cats are going to live a long time, aren't they? They are. They, they certainly yes. are. 
Now, I would, I would personally, I would, if I could paint well, yeah. I would paint the fur in there. I'd do different colours, maybe make them look like my pets if I'd mm. got them, so you could have patches on there. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of Paula's patchy now. Oh, oh yeah. If you're not great at painting, I'd silhouette them. I think they'd look great. Indeed. I like your idea with the googly eyes as well, a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. I just think they look great as they are, actually. Yeah, I, I, I'd probably get my embossing powders on, chunky oh, embossing powder. Oh, that's a good idea. I do like that. That is uh, a good idea. I'm just going to show you the thickness of these as well. It looks like six millimetre MDF as well. Laser cut for you. Oh, sorry, cat. <laughs> Should have jumped down. Yeah. Oh, look, with the yarn with the ball of wool. <laughs> there we are. Well, if you want the cats, just eleven pounds and ninety-six pence for four. They're on extended delivery, dispatched from the fourth of March. That's not long, is it? It's no. the first of March today. Nine two five nine four two is mm -hmm. the item number. Yeah, you have to provide your own wool, I'm afraid. That's all cool. Unless you buy this one off the show. Oh, it's of coming up. Indeed. It is coming up. Now, right. I really like the next bundle as well because we've this got is great value. Your masks now. I always get confused between a mask and a stencil. Masks, they are over the top. Is that, I always forget which one, which way round it. Because to me, they're the same thing, but I know that they're not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now I would class this one as a stencil. Okay. But I would class this one as a mask. Oh, okay. Oh, and also Baker's just said a mask doesn't have any edges. I'd forgotten that. I think. Yeah. Oh, Baker says, do not quote him on that. Okay, I will not quote it. I will unsay what I just said. There you go. But they're great designs, aren't they? They are fantastic. Mm. I particularly like... Which one? Which this one. Favorite? Yeah, the ticket. And I would class that as a mask as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would too with that. Because you can't go through that because mm -hmm. it's not open. Makes sense. That's so you're it. masking off, so you're going around it. Thank you. Although they can be opening areas masks, just Indeed. to confuse things even further. I think that's why I do get confused, but I really like these top two, especially but this one. I love them all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they're all really, really good pieces, these. Are you getting an awful lot for your money there? A £10 saving. Do you know, even at original price, that is a great buy. Isn't You're getting it? six individual masks and stencils there, aren't you, for that price? Uh, mm. But for this hour, saving £10, just £9.49. Item number 330334. That's the item number for these. Remember, the price will go up at 8 o'clock, won't it? Indeed. Is the red card good enough? Okay. Well, oh, if we want black card, that's okay. We just want to show you these a little bit better, don't okay. we? There they. we are. Oh, look. Yes, that looks really good. I do red. like this. Very nice. Uh, basket that, weave. Yeah, that I can looks see like that basket, basket weave, weave to me. Okay. Yeah, then we have this one here. Loving that. Loving that. There we are. Let's go. Oh, you can go that way up. Oh, you can go that way up. Knickers. <laughs> you can go that way up. <laughs> <laughs> Why, friends? <laughs> oh dear. So, I, sorry, Catherine, you're regretting working with me this week. You've got me for a whole another couple of days. <laughs> we think that may be the woven. Or uh, pants. But you're going to get them all anyway, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. This one which I knocked over. Which. Oops. Okay. That one I've knocked over. Let's go for this one next. Okay. There you very go. Very nice. Now, that's your decorative elements. That's nice because you've got four different corners there. You've got that central one as well. So really lovely. You've got five designs in one, one stencil there. I can see a face. <gasps> it's like a masquerade mask. It is, isn't it? Mm. Yes. So if you want to make it look spooky, uh -huh. do. And then we've got another one. Can you see that? I can. That's cool. And then, oh, we've got lo loads of arrows on this one. Grungy. Grunge arrows. That's very useful. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Okay. And then we've got another one. Hang on. State, state, state. <laughs> What's this one? Santa? Yeah, we've got Santa's faces on this one. Look. And the stop sign. Look at that. There we are. Ah. Uh, I was told it was too early to talk about Christmas, but there you go. It's never too early to talk about Christmas. Yeah, no. We talked about Christmas yesterday. Cause, yeah, I brought it up and I got told off. Did you? What, do, what were you talking about Christmas for? Well, oh, you, of course, no, yes. the do, trees. I mean, you, yeah. oh, yes, we were talking about I've still got one that's not gone back in the loft. It stood in the conservatory. Mm -hmm. When's it going to come down? When I've got a box big enough to put it in. Wait, but that might not happen. <laughs> With that till next year, then. I remember... Mine's not decorated, it's just greenery. Oh, yes, ba Baker doesn't... Oh, Baker didn't... He, he wasn't directing us yesterday. <laughs> Baker doesn't realise. So I was saying yesterday, and I was a bit embarrassed, but then I feel better because you've still got a tree up. Um, in that, because my mum's been really quite poorly, 
with the flu and stuff, not that flu, just a bit, right? <laughs> not that, not that one. Um, that 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 basically she felt too poorly to to have all the mess, you know, all the because it takes a lot. So I'm sorry, Baker. We still have the entire house decorated. Yeah. <laughs> what what are they saying? <laughs> They're saying I'm able-bodied to take my tree down. The decorations are off and packed away. It's literally just the tree because the box fell apart this year and I need a bigger box to put it in to get it back in the loft. Otherwise, it's just branches. See, you've got a good excuse. I feel I've got a good excuse because my mum just said I don't want, don't want the mess. Oh, oh. Um, but... Oh, they're saying your excuse is terrible. No, no it's fine. It's in I'm a with room you, that I'm Catherine. not currently I'm using. You. Yeah, yeah. If it was in a room that I was using, then I would be very embarrassed. But I'm currently not using the room that it stood in. Leo, yes, I was just about to say this, Baker. Leonie and Caroline had a real one until April. No, and it shed. It was like a no. bare stick. Yeah. It was there. <laughs> yeah, they had a dead tree in their house. They just kept it freezing, didn't yeah, they, to put yeah. eggs on it? That's right. See, there's a use for everything. <laughs> Shall we move on? Uh, right, so <laughs> there we go. We've got some brilliant cardstock here and vellum and all different weights as well. And I love the red. Very, very nice. Do you know what? It doesn't have to be Christmas, does it? Maybe you're having a wedding this year that's got oh. red in there. Oh, yes, that's that would nice. Look lovely. But it's a lovely set, this one, actually, because you have got cardstock and vellum as well. And we've got different weights of both. Now, we've got 20 sheets mm -hmm. of the red card in the 300 GSM, so a great construction weight there. Lovely red as well. Mm. Then you've got 10 red vellum sheets in 200 GSM, which is a really good weight. It is. Then you've got 10 in the 100 GSM. Right. Lovely colours again. Oh, yeah. Then you've got 40 of the A6 red cards as well. They're 240 GSM, so mm -hmm. a great weight for die cutting. And you've got 50 A6 silver vellum. So you've got that lovely, lovely shimmer on there mm, as well. That's posh. That is lovely. Oh, that would make some nice flowers for a wedding card. Oh, yeah. Or little mm. inserts, actually. Yeah, or stamping on it, tearing it, mm. oh, all those things. I want to tear some red. Can, can I yeah, do that? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Wait, is that the thinner one or the thicker one? This is the thinner one. Mm. Look at that. Oh, yes. Look at that. This is a really nice set, actually. I like this a lot. You predicted this one. Yeah, you were like, yeah I did think this would be busy. Almost a third of the stock gone, actually. Mm -hmm. £9.47. pence. £13 is a saving. That price will go up at 8 o'clock, though. 853 I would be quick on that one. Yeah. And if you want to multi-buy on it, grab it while you can at that price as well. Way under half price, it's isn't very it? Very good. So, again, that's going to go up in 45 minutes' time. Yeah. Yarn balls. Oh, we've, we've brought, we've managed to rescue it back from the cat, have we? Lovely. Yes, we have. Now, these are very, very nice. I love the mm -hmm. colour. Mm -hmm. Absolutely adore the colour. But what I like about this as well, we've got 75% wool in this. That is very good. Have you felt how soft it's it is? It's super soft. This is one of those um, you need to hand wash at 30 degrees rather than sticking it in the, you know, too, 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 yeah. too hot to wash. Even tells you about what, what knitting needles, the size. I know, mm. 10 millimetre. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice chunky yarn, isn't it? Very, very pretty. And super soft. It's like, you know how you get some wool and things Ooh. that... Way. You and know you get some wool that you know is going to be scratchy? This is really oh, it's soft. really soft. Yeah, it's very nice. 75% wool and 25% acrylic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is beautiful, actually. So what would you make with that then, Alex? What would you do with totally it? Totally a jumper. I think yeah, a really little jumper well. in that would be nice. Yeah, or a nice chunky card it away you know oh. kind of spring autumn time what about another capelet for our put power the capelet would be fantastic in that yeah. i just think the color is absolutely beautiful great to have six balls as well because you've got a generous yep. amount there to make a garment of course eight seven four one seven three is the item number 100 grams of each mm -hmm. so that's 600 grams in total 19 pounds and 70 pence a 28 pound saving eight seven four one seven three there we go, yes, 600 grams in total, 100 oh, yes. grams, 92 yards if you want to convert it into yards as well. There I think we I go. might call that like another duck egg type colour. It is kind of a duck egg, isn't yes. it? Hmm. We, do you know what we've done? What? Oh, we swapped We've sides. switched again. <laughs> Shall we keep doing this just yeah. to confuse everybody? Yeah. yeah let's this is it. Alex and I'm Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. I think, see? <laughs> We need to get everybody doing it. We do, don't we? Yeah. And then have a proper competition 
to even see... Yanis. Even Yanis. Even Yanis, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm saying he's got the lowest voice or anything. Yeah. Oh, but I bet it would be hard, you know, yeah, what, for, for the... people to determine who was who. I think so. You couldn't say. Yeah. We haven't played at Alex or Janice for a while. Mm -hmm. No, we haven't, have we? Yeah. Now then, we've got some jute on, because we had jute yesterday in colours. This yeah. is very different, very nice, because you've got the natural there with the lime print on it. Do you think that's a paint that's over the top? I think it, yeah, I think mm. it's been printed over the top with some sort of paint. Yeah. Great for your haberdashery, great for your mixed media, Yeah. Um, card making again. You've got the different thicknesses as well, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So you're getting three reels. 10 yards on each and it's woven it's got that and it's very uh what's the word what's the word it's very tactile and uh it's woven with nylon for added structure there you go. Do I normally tie bows, but I'm into these. I'm into these oh, no, roses you did at the that moment. Yesterday. I'm going to do a rose in this one. It's pretty. Just to see what it looks like. Just because we have got the stripes in there. Look. Oh, that's a stripy pretty, isn't rose. It? Yeah, I like it. It's different. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, there we go. It's very springy. It is, isn't it? Like this. So you've got 30 yards in total, mm -hmm. total, haven't you? So you've got a 15 millimetre, which is this one, a 25, which is that one, and a 38 millimetre one as well. Mm -hmm. There we go. So uh, best of everything there with those widths, haven't we? 9.73, again, way below half price because you're saving £13 on this one as well. Mm -hmm. 0 98 uh, Now we've got some MDF coasters, squares with a rounded edge and rounds with a round. <laughs> do you know they don't have to be coasters? They could no. be, but of course, if you want to just do your mixed media, you know, mm. um, techniques on them. That's, that's what I like to use for. these sorts of shapes for to see what sort of before I actually do my full on MDF projects, just to see if I like the colour of yeah. maybe and how it looks. And yeah, yeah. that's what I, I use these for. Be too. Nice to stamp on them as well and give them a set of cards. You don't mm. always have to go card. That's Send a nice idea. On a piece of MDF, that's what I would do. Yeah, and give them a little stand to go with yeah. it, and it can go on the uh, mantelpiece then. That's a lovely idea. Mm. You could put photographs on there as well, couldn't you? Yeah, that's... Yeah. You could put um, some sort of glaze over the top to protect it, maybe. Mm -hmm. You can resin over the top as well, but you've got to be careful what type of resin. Oh, all right. Because if it's a jewellery resin, it doesn't withstand heat, so if you're going to use it as a coaster, oh. it will melt it, so you've got to make sure that the you've got the proper resin. I didn't realise that. There mm. you go. Good, good. Bit of info now. I think you're getting 15 of each, 15 of the uh, circles, 15 of your rounded corner squares, and it's just £12.97 with a saving that I can't see from over £14 there. £14 saving. You. Uh, 197365, and it works out at 43 pence per coaster. Great and they're price. a nice size, actually. They are a really lovely size. Great yeah. pieces to work with. Always popular MDF. Mm -hmm. It's consumable, though, isn't it? Because you're going to yeah. keep using it, you're going to do those different techniques, you're going to give things away maybe sell them as well so always worth stocking up while you've got the opportunity lovely there we are 197365 is the item number now mm. we've got an assorted bag of cardstock backing card toppers vellums we've even got a couple of rubber stamps in here as well i like this now a lot of bright colors jewel colors in here yeah of course i'm attracted to that you've got some borders these are kiss cut aren't they they are yeah mm. yeah now we've got lots of wonderful colours. We've got purples and blues and golds and reds. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of an oriental theme going on yeah, with some of the toppers here as well. But we've got the mirror card Whoa. as well. Not just the decorative ones. You've got the solid colours. Mm -hmm. I really do want to show you though. Let's find one that's not in a packet. Have I got one here? Oh, look at this one. <gasps> oh, that is really pretty. Because these are not just foiled; they're embossed as well. Mm. Now, you can see the saving of £57.30, and, and I know that's genuine because there's some prices, original prices on some of these, and I know mm -hmm. they are original because I used to stock the same things. Yes. So I can guarantee that these are not inflated prices. It's a great buy. £12 is going to get you 45 pieces. Mm. That does include the rubber stamps as well. Do you know, even, even if you don't like the designs of the rubber stamps, if you put these in a microwave yeah. to melt the glue and take the rubber off, you can play, replace the rubber. Really? Yeah. So something like we had magnolia on yesterday with yeah. the rubber stamp sheets. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you wanted to put them onto blocks, you could do recycle your blocks. I did not. How did you find out you could do that? I've done it. 
Because you just did it. I've done it. And I've luckily the times. microwave didn't <laughs> blow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do. Sometimes you buy these things that are from years gone by and you think, oh, I don't really, I don't think I'll use that again. True. And you think, oh, shall I give it away or throw it away? And think, no, I shall recycle the block. Oh, let's show you this because it's this is the oriental type of theme that we've got going on. Good weight of cardstock here. So you could take, you could cut these out if you wanted. You've uh, got the vellum in there as well that's printed, haven't you? You've got some, look at that. Are these sticky? Are these, do these peel off? No, you just need to cut these out, but it's on a glossy card. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Here's the vellum. Uh, I wonder if the vellum yeah. matches, or are they different designs to mm, the I think they match. Ones? They match. Because you could overlay them. Oh, yes. Ooh. Look, they, that goes okay. with that one. So you could overlay that. And That's give nice. It, yeah. Oh, I like that. Look, also got some stickers too. These are really cute. Hang on. Have we got... Oh, they're like superheroes. <laughs> they're teeny heroes. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? These ones are, again, die cut. They look like little badges, those. They do. Twelve pounds then, price going up of course to sixty nine pounds and thirty pence at the end of the hour. Look what you get in here. Forty five individual pieces. There's some great quality card stock here as well. My favourite items in this bundle are those backing cards. I just mm. think they're beautiful. Eight seven eight nine eight six is the item number if you want to go for those. Nothing to stop your multi buying as well, especially if you're buying to make to sell. Indeed. Of course, you're gonna get lots of money back on those. Yes. Now then, maybe if you are selling, you want to go for your seller bags as well mm -hmm. to make sure everything's nice and clean and doesn't get grubby finger marks Dusty on them and, and dust on them. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we've got here, we've got the A4, 200 pieces. Now, I'm just going to check something, actually. Go I on. don't think these are the A4+, plus. I think these are the proper A4. Yeah. They are, look, there. So Perfect they fit, fit nicely inside. It's a little bit of room. Yeah. But you can, of course, store your bits and pieces in there, protect your cards if you're making A4 cards as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe put your die cut pieces if you're die cutting and you're saving your bits and bobs. Yeah. Just very handy, aren't they? Very good indeed. For 19 99 200 pieces, as you can see. 968353 is your item number. Um, just another reminder of the deal of the day. And here it is. Look at all of these wonderful 12 by 12 sheets. They're all assorted, all sorts of different designs. You've got some that are quirky, some that are pretty, some that are fun, some that are a bit grungy. Uh, loads and loads of packets. Now, you have a massive £75 saving as your deal of the day. It's £24.98. pence. Your item number is 618816. Now, we have an update on one of the Sunrise Specials. Okay, we are limited stock on the red cardstock and vellum and the silver vellum. It's a really good deal for just £9.47, 853 469. But as I said, it's totally limited. Um, but of course, if you're just joining us, you are watching Good Morning Hitchhiker. <laughs> Look what I've got with me. We've got the wonderful Mark here. Good morning. Good morning. How yes. are you? Oh, very good. We arrived at the same time this morning. We did, yes. Pulled into the car park at the same time together. We yes, certainly did. In early. Yes. Didn't recognise you because you weren't in your uh, no, big beautiful no. camper today. No, no, no. Now, Mark. Yourself yes. and Pat with yes. me at 8 o'clock this are. morning. Yes. Got lots of goodies. Lots of new goodies, yes. Do you want to tell us about what you brought into the studio? Um, here, I've got some five-inch strips. Two new sets, we do the five inch strips, which are double the width of normal Ooh. jelly balls. There's ten in a pack, so these are very versatile as well. Oh, well, let's have a so close look at these, these, Mark. Nice I'm just going to have a bit of a flick through these so you can see. So this is one of them. Tell us about this particular bundle then, Mark. Uh, these are um, stoff fabrics. These are the fabrics that we used to make a quilt um, last year, which is still ongoing. Um, Stars and Harmony. Oh yes, the I block remember. Set quilt we started. So these are from that range. So if people wanted to make cushions or something to go with the quilt, they've got these they can do. Uh, they're five inches wide, so as I said, they're twice the width of a jelly roll, and you get ten in each pack. These Obviously, are gorgeous, aren't they? There are more range, more fabrics in the range, so you might not get exactly what is in the pack we've got okay. here. So they but they are all in the um, the Stars and Harmony range. Wonderful. Now this is very nice. Tell us about this one. These are from the range called Hannah, and that's the, the block set um, quilt that we've got going on at the moment. 
um, No Place Like Home, which we've got block set eight today, which Ooh, is that's launch watch out today. For that. And again, five inch wide, five inches wide, ten in each strip, a uh, ten in each pack. Sorry. These are gorgeous, aren't they? I love the colours in this one. Oh, look at that's nice. So, because you've got double the width of a normal um, jelly roll or, or the strips, yes. Why does that benefit us? What can we do with those then? Be because a jelly roll is only two and a half inches wide. Yeah. That obviously limits you to the to the space that you can fill yes. with the fabric. Because these are five inches wide, obviously you've got more um, options of making bigger blocks. Yeah. Because the fabric they is wider. They are gorgeous. Starting. I yeah. think we're going to be very busy on those. Actually, do watch out for those at eight o'clock. Now, what else have we got here then, Mark? This is, this um, is beautiful. A table runner uh, oh, called Bear's Paw, and this. obviously. You can see, oh, I see. see the block in there is meant, meant to represent a, a, a bear's paw. Oh, and I love the fabric again running around the outside border here. Just a little homely. It is, isn't fabric, it? Yes. And you've got a little folded border on there just to give it something different. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I like this a lot. Now, of course, we've got more than this to show you as well. At eight o'clock, we've got some amazing bundles for you, actually. Uh, and your mugs are back as well. Mugs are back, huh? Yes. And, of course, Pat's going to be here demonstrating. So we'll be saying good morning to Pat at eight o'clock as well. Now, let's have a little look on the website, of course, because you can see eight o'clock for Totally Pat. You see all of the wonderful goodies there. I will be joining Pat and Mark again at eight o'clock uh, for a wonderful hour. I always enjoy the hour with those two. Uh, please do be shopping ahead as well I know we've already been busy on some items actually uh, so lots to look at there don't forget those blocks available for you as well lots of patterns we've got threads available there's the mug beautiful as well and we've got books available as well now we've got something else very exciting coming up oh and look whose name's under there it's me doing this I'm so looking forward to this Thomas Kincaid now we've actually got Pat Kincaid in the studio uh, that's Thomas Kincaid's brother uh, I'm really looking forward to this, flown across from the US of A, of course. Now, Thomas Kincaid, known as the painter of light, and you can see why. Just mm. look at these images. We've got Beauty and the Beast there as well. I, I really am looking forward to this. I'm going to learn so much, of course, so do tune in at 10 o'clock for that. In fact, don't go anywhere. You've got to stay with us all day. Why go out? <laughs> Coming up next, though, we're going to give you a reminder of the deal of the day. Yes, deal of the day. Indeed. I must just thank Dave, though, because I didn't realise that, because I saw George spelt J-O-R-G-E, I think, this morning. That is actually Jorge. Oh, I yes. I did not realise this. Yes, it's yeah. yes. Yeah. So thank you, Dave, because that's really that's really good to know. So thank you. Uh, nice bit of information. Oh, maybe we've had one less storm than we first thought then. Boom. <laughs> I'd like to be the storm namer. I still think that's a great job. What do you do? I should be the storm name you because should. it was my maiden name. It's storm. a cool name, that. Maybe I should go back to it now. Yeah. I'll be it the storm cool. namer. <laughs> Catherine Storm, the storm namer. <laughs> well, just <laughs> perfect, perfect title. <laughs> Don't leave here, though. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm That's staying. Good. I'm staying. <laughs> now, deal of the day. This is staying for the time being as well because this launched at 7 o'clock this morning around until 7 o'clock tomorrow as long as we've got the stocks. Now, look at the yellow box here. You're saving a whopping £75. Now, the brand name on here is Studio Light. You've got all sorts of different designs here. Now, there are... Um, how many have we got? We've got 200 sheets. So there's 20 individual designs, isn't there? Mm -hmm. now, these are going to be assorted... But you're getting something, I think, Alex, for all occasions, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. Look at these. So you've got uh, something for everybody, as you said. Should we wreck the pack shot again? Oh, he's taking them all out. Bless him. There you Aww. go. Uh, just so that it avoids the glare. Look, you've got little hedgehogs on here. I think that's my favourite one. That one? No, the hedgehogs. Yeah. They're so cute. They are indeed. You've got some bold florals. And then, I mean, that's even more bold, don't it you is, think? It is, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. And then... That, I don't know, that sort of reminds me of um, China. I Delft don't know what tiles, it yeah, Oh, yeah, me something of. like, like, you know, the types of... But no, tiles yeah. are better, actually. The tiles are better. And then yeah, we've, we've got anchors on there. Uh, more florals. I love that one. Yeah, I nice feel like you could play too. a game on that. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what I mean? That's true, actually, yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe we could come up with a game between us, Alex, to play on there. Yeah, I like just like the tiles, the squares. Um, so it's a really good set, and they've got even baby things in there. there something for all occasions, something Absolutely. for everybody, male or female as well. Yeah. Just a great buy, isn't it? Again, if you, I think if you're making to sell, Alex, you're going to mm. really get some money back on this, aren't you? Absolutely. Oh, your scrapbooking as well, the 12 by 12s. Of course, if you want to cut them down into four, mm. you've got four six by six layers straight away as well. So think of it that way. You can really stretch the kit. Yes. £24.98 and pence is the price. That saving is incredible. Now, this is deal of the day, so it's not just for this hour. But while we've got the stocks, they'll be around until 7 o'clock. 618 do you know, if we break that down, mm -hmm. 12 pence per sheet, that's, that's all it is. Very, very good value indeed. Incredible value. Um, there's even more at the front. We've got, oh, I like this one. Oh, that is nice. <coughs> Oops. Way. Oh, it just had to happen, didn't it? It did. Because uh, we've got, like, uh, if you can, oh, I don't know if I can tilt it, because it's, uh, we've got, like, a, it's like a wallpaper, that's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? That yeah. sort of pattern, which is really good. Uh, so there's loads in there. And as you said, it's just £24.98, a whopping £75 saving. Item number is 618816. Again, just to say a good morning to you. <laughs> uh, good morning to everybody. Good morning to Dave. Good morning to Heather. Uh, good morning to Dawn. You're all there having a nice little chat, which we love. Um, but next up, we're going to have a little look at uh, some of our seven-day savers. Not long left to go, is there? Before, we've got nope. some new ones for you. So do take advantage of the final 25 minutes or so of the seven-day savers now. This is one I could do with. I might have to nip up and get these. Because, really? Yeah, I need to stock up on my threads. Uh, how much sewing have you been doing recently? Uh, I've done bits and bobs because I've been playing around with some ideas. Uh, oh. Mm. oh. More will be revealed, hopefully, oh. in the weeks to come. Oh, I'm, I'm intrigued. Um, <clears throat> so you can see we've got, you've got pastels, Catherine. Yep. I've got your nice brights and neutrals in this one. Yes, you certainly have. And this is Coates Moon Sewing Machine, polyester thread. Mm -hmm. Do you know you can hand sew with this as well? It doesn't have oh, to be through a machine. But Coates is a good brand name as well. Uh, nice that they come in these boxes as well, so you can see exactly what you're getting in there. Keep them nice and neat. Very pretty colours. Absolutely. I love your pastels. They're sugar buttons colours, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. And have you seen, in terms of fashion, pastels are really, really, really on trend at the moment. Are they? Yes, Ooh. very much so. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so lots of people, it's because of... When I'm not here, I like to watch another ch certain channel. You know yeah, your yeah, colours, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah. you? You certainly do. Oh, thank you. Now, you've got a 1,000 metres on each reel. I'm mm. going to call it reel. Sometimes it's cops, sometimes it's something else, but I'm going to say reels. I think you know what I mean. There we are, 48 spools in total, so you've got 24 in each box. Mm -hmm. That really is a good buy. You're saving £60 on this one. And you can take the flexi-buy option if you want it as well. Two payments of £19.99. Item number 475545. Ah, we have got some wonderful fabric from Mill Shop Online. Oh, I like this as well. It's good, isn't this it? This is lovely. Can we open this one out? Yeah. It's nice neutral. You see, you could add... Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's lovely. It's beautiful quality, yes. isn't it? Oh, look at that. I really like this. Do you know, this is another one. I would I would see that in a kitchen as a blind. That's a nice idea. Yes, I can see that. I, I like having the animals on there. Yeah, you could have sort of a Roman blind that you can pull up and drop down. Or maybe you want to make your accessories for your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Or an apron would be very nice in this as well. Yes. Oh, an apron. That's yeah. a really nice Or your cushion idea. covers again. Do you know, it's endless, isn't it, really, what you can achieve with something like this. Mm. £13 is the saving. You do get your lining as well. So you're getting the cotton fabric and the cotton lining. This is your farmyard. A metre of each, 54 inches wide. So two pieces you're getting. Being mill shop, of course, if you want to order more than that, we can get you that continuous length. Just 11 99 for this. 961299. Remember, this is one of the seven-day savers. So the this will be going away from sale at eight o'clock when we bring the new ones in so do grab this while you've got the possibility of Absolutely. getting it at this price don't forget you have got the lining mm -hmm. included as well mm -hmm. do you know what your bags would be great cushions yeah. seat covers aprons blinds just goes on doesn't it it does and of course you could add your own embellishment start doing yeah. that you could if you wanted as well. You could add some colour into these yeah. if you've got your fabric paints and things like, as well. Like um, or your ink, ink tents. Or, or ink tents, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. 
really it's like really that. Good. Like that a lot. Right. Okay. So there I'm we go. Good at folding as um, usual. Yeah. Oh, I love to see the the still of this actually because it always looks so neat folded up with a little bit of rustic string. Mm. Oh look, as there we you can go. see, there it is. That's a nice little package, isn't it? I know it? it's gorgeous. Uh, yes. So that is just eleven ninety nine, thirteen pound saving, and it is nine six one two nine nine. But it's only that price for the next twenty minutes or so. So do make sure you're checking out your baskets. Oh. Now, another one we've got to offer you is Kaiser Craft, a well-known brand, very well-known brand. In fact, they've been around for some time, I believe from Australia. Oh. Um, quality is the thing that springs to mind for me, Alex, with Kaiser Craft. Right. We're getting all sorts here as well. It's your bag of inspiration. Now, contents will vary, okay. but you're going to get 10 pieces. And the saving on this one, look at that, £85 and a penny is a saving, just £24.99. Mm -hmm. What have you got there then, Alex? Uh, stamps and dies I've got here. Uh, stamps and dies that match, so again, you might get something like this. Also got your alphabet sticker. Are they stickers? Are they stickers? Yeah, they are yes. indeed. Good. Uh, what else? Now, we've got another die here as well. Mm -hmm. So, as we say, contents may vary. Embossing folder. With one of your stickers on there. Yeah, I'll get just <laughs> randomly just jumped on there. We've got more stamps here as well with more stickers on. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a stencil for you. I would class that as a stencil rather than a mask. That one, yeah. Yeah. We've got some chipboard pieces or some wooden pieces, wooden embellishments there as well. Mm -hmm. We've got die cut elements which are beautiful. Now, I've saved this one to last Abby. because I love their paper packs mm. because you always get different surfaces. So you've got matte finishes, you've got different designs, Ooh, nice. like you've got one. florals, you've got embossed items. I am holding it upside down just because it's easy to flick through. Mm -hmm. But really, really lovely. And I believe when we get to the back of this, we should find there's some stickers and some die cut elements as well. I'm hoping so now I've said that, but you usually do find that. Oh, look at that. The That's scissors. got a shine on it. You've got that sort of embossed shine, yes. Mm. Uh, right, let me just check. Oh, please have them at the back. Oh, I've got to turn this the right way up now. So you can see there you've got some sentiments there that you can cut out I'm individually. So the ah, here we are. We've got die cut elements in there as well. There's your borders and your die cut elements as well. These are the sort of things I was trying to explain about. So really lovely. Contents will vary. You may get this book, you may get uh, this theme, you may get something different, but you're going to get a wonderful selection. It's going to be like Christmas, isn't it, when you receive that? Absolutely, really liking it. So you can see all the other seven day savers on the website. There we go. Um, so you've got 19 minutes to get your seven day savers before they swap out. Um, they'll refresh at 8 o'clock. I can't wait to see what the new seven-day savers are because I, I haven't seen what they are. Uh, so 19 minutes remaining to get these. And now this is going to be amazing. Do you want to see this opener? I've got brand new guests I'm going to introduce myself to because we've not met. Here we go. Oh, man. Just having a quick introduction because nice to meet you, Pat. It is an absolute pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I've heard nothing but good things about you. Oh, thank you very much, <laughs> Pat. So, and I know a lot of people will have heard about you and, you, mm -hmm. and the company, but just in case somebody doesn't know about you, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, I am here to represent the Thomas Kincaid Indeed. Company, and I am the brother of Thomas Kincaid, the brother of light, as I <laughs> call myself sometimes. But Tom was known as the painter of light. Right. And the reason he was was because when you take one of his images, one of his beautiful cottages or bridges or cityscapes, and you take out the ambient light and you lower the light on the particular piece, uh -huh. the internal lights of the painting begin to glow. Mm. And it really is a magical effect. Amazing. And you're going to see all of that uh, coming up at 10 a.m. Now, you've literally flown in, haven't you? I have. Um, yeah. I've been here a couple of days. Of course, I, I love coming to the UK. Uh -huh. uh, Tom used to come here routinely to paint. He would just go up in the Cotswolds region and absolutely fill his heart with all the quaint little villages and cottages that uh, in inhabit the area. So. Um, I'm excited to be here, but it, my excitement comes from knowing the uh, the country so well and just absolutely loving the people and the culture and the uh, the history. Oh, 
that's so lovely. So how many times have you been to the UK then, would you say? I probably pop over, I don't know, pop over, yeah. <laughs> uh, about uh, once every couple of years. So yeah. I would say, you know, 20 times, 30 times Amazing. across the course of my life. And do you always bring your the beautiful artwork too? I always do. I always keep one of my suit. No, I, I, <laughs> I, I come over for a lot of reasons, but yeah. I'm excited. There's a lot of collectors in the UK already of my brother's work. Right. And I'm excited to introduce uh, this product to a, a new uh, a generation of collectors. See, do you paint yourself? You know, I do, a little bit. It, it, it tends to run in my family. My, yeah. my grandfather was a painter. Uh, my father was a painter. Tom was a painter. My son is a painter. He's actually uh, publishing uh, oh. already himself. Yeah. And I paint a little bit. Mo I'm a university professor, first and foremost. Right. I'm a professor of criminal justice, strangely enough, in, wow. in, uh, <laughs> in, in the States. But I, I do it as a, sort of a, an escape and as a release mm -hmm. uh, uh, from the, uh, the, the, the you know, sort of the, the chaos of the day. So yeah. I really do enjoy painting. I don't publish it. It's more of a private expression for me. But it does run in the family a little bit. Wonderful. So what, with Thomas, when did he start painting? Ah. Since the word dots, <laughs> yeah. you say, yeah. I got to say, my first remembrances of Tom, he was a painter. He had this little coffee table, and he put a towel on it, and he put out his watercolors, and he put out his pencils, mm -hmm. and he put out his crayons. And he was calling it a studio because he was going to be an artist. And I right. say, you know, Tom, lighten up. You're eight years old. Let's go play kickball or something. He goes, no, no, I, I've got to paint. I, I, I have this vision of myself for an artist. And he never wavered from that vision. So to my remembrance, truthfully, Tom always was an artist. And across the course of his life, he had opportunities to work with mentors and have uh, access to uh, people who helped him along that way. I, I, I truly believe there is a hand of providence in terms of what his career path was and what he brought to the world. Amazing. Well, let's, should we look at this beautiful piece of ah. artwork? So this is just one of the pieces that we're going to see mm -hmm. in the 10 a.m. show. And it's stunning. So like you were saying about how the light, I mean, it's so realistic as well. So beautiful. Absolutely. When Tom painted, he painted in a luminous style, like I said, and that means that the internal lights come on when you lower the ambient lights. But it also creates a depth of field. Mm -hmm. When you hang one of these paintings on the wall, it's almost like hanging a window to an outside world. It, yes. It's so beautiful. It's so realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's just, again, it stuns my heart every time I see it. Aww. And, and, and I, I love these paintings, too, because Tom painted in, in messaging. It wasn't simply about, oh, I want to create a beautiful aesthetic, which he did. It's, you hang it on the wall, it's beautiful. It moves your heart in that way. But there's, there's messages in his work. When you look at a, a cottage, for example, what does a cottage represent to mm -hmm. the person looking at it? Well, it's a, it's a cozy place. It's a place of romance. It's yes. a place of family. You know, uh, and all of those things mean so much to the human spirit. Absolutely. When you hang a painting on the wall, Mm -hmm. Tom always used to say this, it's a silent messenger in the home. Mm -hmm. Every day, even if you see that painting only for a minute, it's going to impact you somehow. Yeah. And if you hang a painting that impacts you in a positive way, well, you're going to have a positive day. If you hang a painting that doesn't do that, that challenges you or creates chaos in your life, mm -hmm. well, you're going to be experiencing that. These sorts of paintings truly change a house yeah. into a home. And I, I know that so many people, certainly in the States, have, st you know, th this, these wonderful paintings are in so many homes, is what I'm trying oh, to say. Oh, it, it, it's crazy. I, I sometimes have to step back and, and really take an appreciation of what has happened here. Uh, my brother is one of the most collected artists in the history of the world. I mean, that's just the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I think about that, I mean, you know, there's like Michael Jackson and Tito Jackson. I'm sort of right. the Tito Jackson of the, <laughs> the, 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 the art world. Can't quite cut it in, in the, uh, up front, as the front man, but I'm a great background player, you know. Yeah. But you know, the, the, the bottom line is, is that he has impacted so many lives. We get letters and letters and letters of people mm -hmm. who say, this work made a, a dark time lighter for me or yeah. made a, 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 a very fun time even better than it was. Mm. So, it, it, like I said, it just reaches out and it touches people in so many ways. And it, it still, to this day, is, is a source of pride for me that my brother was able to reach so many people. Oh, well, I know that Catherine's going to be with you at 10 o'clock and she's super excited. But I miss excited. you already. Don't <laughs> You why, why, why are you leaving me? <laughs> Use me and cast dude. me aside like all the others. I know. <laughs> oh, you people here. I'm going back to the United States. Oh, <laughs> uh, Pat, you're one of my favorite guests ever. <laughs> it's brilliant. Uh, bless you, but yes, we will see you at 10 o'clock. Can't wait. I am looking forward to it. Uh, and, there and will I, be trouble, I guarantee. Yeah, Tune in. <laughs> <There will. laughs> um, now, I also believe that this lovely painting is also part of a giveaway, so please tune in at 10 o'clock. Um, once again, Pat, pleasure. An absolute pleasure. Wonderful. Stay out of trouble or call me for bail. I will, yes. Okay. So thank you. I'll, I'll take you on that time. Calling Pat for bail. <laughs> <laughs> right.
right, uh, let's have a look at what's coming up then today. Thank you so much, Pat. Um, so you can shop ahead for these gorgeous paintings. A lot of them are on Flexi Buy too to make it nice and easy for you to purchase or easier. Um, so you can see those gorgeous paintings. Aren't they absolutely stunning? Uh, painting prints, I should say. Apologies. There we go. Um, so do check that out. What an awesome guest, Catherine. You're in for a right treat. I know. I can't <laughs> wait. Uh, next up, though, we're going to have a little recap of our sunrise specials. Yeah. Oh, wow. How excited am I for 10 o'clock? I know. He's such a cool guest. I can't wait. Honestly, you must, must, must tune in to yeah. see more of the work, of course, from Thomas. And to speak to Pat, I think we're going to have such a fun hour and find out all sorts of wonderful uh, wonderful things about mm -hmm. the family yeah. and the paintings and the inspiration and everything. Yeah. But for now, for we're now, we've cats. got the sunrise specials, haven't we? We're starting right back where we began in the first place. Indeed. Uh, what time is it? You've only got just over 10 minutes now to get your sunrise specials. But these are really cute. If you're a cat lover or you know someone who loves cats, these are adorable. I especially particularly like the one that's hanging over the edge. So like the do dude. I. Well, you're getting two of those and you're getting two of the laying down cats as well. We have got a couple more behind yes, us. Yes, you're getting uh, four. So you can see, yes, you're getting four. Did they, do you know, I was, you know, was going to say something rather silly then. I will say... Do they both face the same way? But of course, all you need to do <laughs> is flip them round. That's it. Should we get the other two? So you can have them the way that you want them. There Bookends. Look at that. Book there we go. Oh, look at that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and this one can go. Oh, no. It's got to go there. Oh, wait. Let's put them that way. There we are. Oh, Meg's just said, hang on. Aww. Meg's just said that's quite romantic as their tails are crossing. Oh. Yes, they do just cross, don't they? Yeah, they Isn't do. that lovely? You can hang little love hearts off the tails oh, if you wanted to. I miss my cat now. Um, what was I going to say? I was just thinking about my cat when she was little. And she used to... For some reason, my cat can't retract her claws very well. It's just oh. how she is. So when she was little, she would she'd jump up onto the curtains but totally get stuck. And she'd just be swinging going, I can't get off, Mum. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh dear. Oh, I, I love these. Don't I really, know. really love them. Whether you want to paint them up as sort of looking realistic, whether you want to have fun with them mm. and go very quirky Witches with them, cats. yes, or whether you want to just make them into silhouettes, then of course you could do as yeah, well. Yeah, I really like them. Now they're going to be dispatched from the 4th of March. Oh! No cats were harmed. That was, oh, that was a ca catastrophe. Wait, wait. It's fine. <laughs> I like that. It's fine. No cats have been hurt, I promise. It's fine. 925 942 <laughs> is the item number. You are going to get four of them. These are laser cut from 6mm MDF as well. Oh, so right. they are substantial, aren't they? And yeah. thickness as well. Of course, you can throw all sorts of mediums at those to decorate them. Below half price, because 1196 mm -hmm. is the price, going back up to 2396 at the end of the hour. Amazing. Right, next up then, we have got some masks. Uh, all sorts of different designs. You've got... You've got the basket weave, you've got the tickets. I love this nostalgia. I know I go on about it a lot, but because I still go up the pier in Brighton, get the tickets when I've been playing on the games. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now it's to say the yeah. mask collection. So are they all masks? Are we back to this same? This same. I think some thing. are stencils. I I would have thought some were stencils, but yeah. maybe I'm wrong. Don't maybe I'm good. wrong. But it doesn't matter because you're getting them all, and they're all beautiful. Nine pounds and forty nine pence. Ten pound is the saving on these. Really lovely designs. Great for your journaling, your mixed media. I would use those corners on my furniture as mm. well when I'm out cycling. Uh, I love those tickets. They're my favourite. Three three zero three three four is the item number. Mm. Now this has been going. Have we still got this actually? Ooh. <gasps> this is hanging on by a thread. Right, it's fastest <gasps> fingers first for this collection. It certainly is. Now then, let's see what we've got. We've got a lovely bundle, actually. So, with the red cardstock, you've got 20 of the 300 GSM. We've got 10 vellum sheets in the 200 GSM, which is a great Amazing weight. Amazing weight, yeah. You've got 10 in the 100 GSM, mm -hmm. which tears beautifully, as you can see. You've got 40... A6 red card sheets. Yep. They're 240 GSM, so a great weight for your matting and layering and your die cutting, of course. And then you've got 50 A6 in the silver vellum. Mm. Now, I'm not sure. Oh, 
Not sure of the weight of that, but it's beautiful. Look at the shimmer on there. It's gorgeous. Absolutely and gorgeous. Meg's just informed us that it's technically sold out, which means all the stock is in baskets. You just need to check out to make sure yep. that it's yours. Check mm. out. Don't miss out. Mm. Yeah. Uh, then we've got some yarn balls. 75% uh, <laughs> wool for these. I really, really like these. Mm. Really like these. Yes, yeah, 75% wool, 25% acrylic. These are so, so soft. And you can see it's a nice chunky yarn. Yeah. Does tell you on the label 10 millimeter needles, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, just show that you can iron it as well. But hand wash. Saying that though, a lot of machines you can they do have a hand wash cycle, don't oh, they? So I love just my hand careful. wash cycle. Yeah, I use mine a lot as well. Oops, really? there it goes again. <laughs> uh, now, what I love about this is you're getting six balls with 100 grammes on each there is enough there because they're all the same dye lot mm -hmm. enough there to make a really nice garment i agree and uh, so as we've been saying so super soft it's not scratchy you know like some wools can be no it's beautiful yeah you could make a little blanket out of that as well Ooh, that's a nice black blanket idea. that would look very nice indeed eight seven four one seven three is the item number don't know what the name of the color is but i think it's beautiful it is isn't it there we go and you're getting um six of the reels as the reels not reels what do you call them balls. The, the balls yarn balls <laughs> yarn balls uh, <laughs> i have to say it like that paula says it like that she's got pat to say it oh yeah, try and get that. Would be, yeah. Oh. Maybe in the next show. Yes. Yes, that would be good. Oh, we'll think I'm rather odd, I think, if I get him saying that right at the beginning of the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're saying out of context, that would be a bit strange. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, right. I'll wait to introduce myself. Hi, Pat. My name's Catherine. Can you say yarn balls? <laughs> He has got a great accent. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be good. Okay, so we've got a bit of jute here. That's all. Oh, it's stripy jute. Stripy jute. Yes, different thicknesses here. We've got 15 millimeters, 25 millimeters, and also 38 millimeters. Ten yards on each. You're getting all three reels for 9.73, saving 13 pounds on this. 098298. Mm -hmm. Of course, use this in your mixed media, your home decor, mm -hmm. your soft crafting. Yeah. No limits, really. That's to the sort of crafting you're going to use those for. Indeed, and it's very, very nice and tactile too. But again, you've only got seven minutes to get this at the price. 098298 is your item number. And you've got 10 yards on each one. And as you can see, they're different thicknesses too. Um, and then we've got some MDF, um, 15 of each, I believe. 15 inch at each. You've got this, the rounded corners on the square, so you've got the circles as well. Now it does say circles and squares, it does say coasters as well, but you don't have to use them as coasters. You can yeah. if you want, of course. But, you know, use them for whatever you want because it's MDF and the laser cut as well. There's no prep required. So throw almost anything at the surface here. Absolutely. Uh, Lovely price as well. It is indeed. Twelve pounds and ninety-seven pence. One nine seven three six five is your item number. Forty-three pence per coaster. There you Great go. value. One nine seven three six five. I think you just said that, didn't you, Alex? Oh, probably, but don't worry. <laughs> yes. I'm thinking of that 10 o'clock show. I'm so excited. It's going to be good. Now then, this is a great bundle as well. If you're making to sell, this is a good chance to buy something at a very, very, very good price because you're going to certainly make some money on the items we've got available. I really like them. A lovely collection. Mm. We've got uh, backing card. We've got toppers. We've got vellum. We've got mirror card. We've even got a couple of stamps in here as well. My favourite thing lovely. about this, I like everything, but I've got to say the backing card because it's in, it's foiled, it's embossed, mm. it looks looks beautiful and you're getting quite a lot of sheets of that as well I just think it's gorgeous yes and look, all the lovely bright colors too all the jewel tones that we've got what you after I'm opening one? this one up simply because I don't think we've got a sample of it because we did show that lovely sort of damask mm. pattern but look at this oh with the butterflies on it that's gorgeous isn't that stunning nice thickness to the card too yeah mm. beautiful quality £12 there, 57.30 is a saving. Take advantage while you can. You've still got five minutes left. 878986. Uh, then we've also got some cello bags. Uh, 200, not sheets, but just bags. <laughs> A4. Uh, they do, they do. Stick, yes, they do they? seal. Yeah. So if, if you're going for the previous bundle, if you can go for these as well, if you are mm -hmm. going to be selling, making to sell or just die cutting, yep. store your pieces in there, great opportunity to save £20. You've got a half price saving on this one, mm -hmm. 968353. And then, last but not least, we'll come back round to our deal of the day. Look at all of this cardstock. I know. There's something for all occasions, all seasons. Beautiful. I like that, actually. Yeah, I like a bit that of leopard print. print. Yeah. 
Uh, designs will vary, won't they? You're getting, is it 10 sheets of each? It is, isn't it? You've got 20 different designs, 10 sheets of each. So if you are doing a project and you're going to maybe covering boxes and you want them all to look the same. Good point. Then, of course, you've got enough of the same design to do that. Mm, look at these. I really like these tiles. Tiles. Now I can see the yeah. tiles. That's good, isn't it? Beautiful. Uh, even more, even more. So, look, basically, there's a job lot it here. Just keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah. And if you're a Freedom member, all of your postage, of course, is covered. Uh, so this is twenty-four pounds and ninety-eight pence, six one eight eight one six. Uh, so if you pop any of these in your baskets, check out well on at the price. Have a fabulous ten a.m. show. Yes, I've got eight o'clock first. That's going to be fab as well. See Indeed. you soon. Next, we've got Totally Patched with Pat and Mark, followed by Half Heartfelt Creations One Day Special, and then Thomas Kincaid. Going to be a great day. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? by watching and crafting along with your favourite Tachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you'll receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. to Club G45 from Graphic 45. These are monthly tutorial kits that allow you to create beautiful projects by accessing step-by-step -step instructional videos that are viewable online. You'll get almost everything that you need to create both of these projects from scratch. The first kit is Club G45 Fashion Forward Calendar Tag Album and Treat Box Kit. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 920 955 for £49.99 plus your postage from hachanda.com or give us a call on 01733 602000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. The second kit is Club G45 Fashion Forward Z Fold Front Flap Card Kit. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 973 636 for £34.99 plus your postage from hachanda.com or give us a call on 01733 602000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Good morning, everyone. Yes, it's eight o'clock, and look who's here. <laughs> look who's here. It's Just us. It's, it's us. We're here Good again. morning, you two. You two. We arrived at the same time this morning. We did. We made it, it in, in the. I was going to say the wind and the rain. It wasn't actually it raining wasn't too, too bad. It was very it wasn't windy. Too bad. Uh, now then, hopefully everybody at home is staying in to watch because yeah. we've got a cracking hour ahead. Yep, lovely things. And I did check as well. You're raring to go, aren't you, both we of are. you? Yep. You certainly Ready? are. Now, I would be shopping ahead this hour as well because I think it's going to be a busy one. It's been busy before we even went live. Now, I'm going to say good morning again to Pat because, of course, Pat, you're going to be demonstrating for us. So I'm going to let you go off and get okay. ready for that. Okay. And Mark's going you to accompany me down the counter, of course. And you're going to tell us all about a table runner, first I am. of all. First of all, is the Bear's Paw table runner. It's okay. just over there. It's just behind me, actually. I don't yeah. know. We're going to grab that off yes. the wall. So Shall we get, let's yeah, get well. it off the wall. Yeah. Oh, that came off easily. It, it was easy. a quite sharp. Well, it was fastened up there. <laughs> no, it was prepared earlier. One of the prepared earlier, as they say. Now, I can see why it's called the bear's paw now. It, it's, it's the block there, obviously. That's the block. But you've yeah. got the four paws, obviously, for each block. 
beautiful. Now, this is really lovely, Matt. And I've got to say, this is the sort of fabric that's appealing to me straight away with the colours in there. I love the fabric around the border yeah. as well. Now, tell us about this. This is box. a, a, a nice folded detail. border. It gives it a little bit of um, depth. Rather than just have um, flat borders, you've got a little border, a little folded border that uh, you can see just moving up and down you. Yeah. I love how that crosses over that corner as well. Just again, something overlap. different. Yeah. Now that really does add to the interest yeah. of it, doesn't it? Uh, what a lovely project. And as with all our kits, all of it comes pre-cut. Perfect, yes. Yeah. So if you haven't seen Totally Patched before, this is what they're known for. All pre-cut for you when everything arrives. I'm just going to pick this bag up, uh, bag this box up, so you can see a lovely box, everything pre-cut in there when it arrives. You can see the items that you're getting within that box right in front of us here. So really then, Mark, you're getting everything you need because, of course, yeah. you've got the full instructions, you've got the wadding in there, Get you've the got backing. the backing in there, you've got those pre-cut pieces to yeah. create the, the blocks as well. So all you really need... Is your sewing machine and your thread? And the time. And the time? Yeah. Time. Now we're busy for this already. Now look at this. We've got a flexi buy option as oh. well. Two payments of £20. Item number 715252. That's the item number that you need for this particular one. And already nearly 20% of the stock has gone. Did say it was going to be a busy show, this one, so you do need to be uh, shopping ahead. Now, if you like that, I think you're going to like the next item as well because the colours are very similar, aren't they? You've got your 12 by 12 scrappy little mat here. I love the name of that. <laughs> it, it, it does what it says on the tin, as they say. Oh, I love it, it. It looks like a little scrappy mat that's thrown together. It's very quick, very effective, um, and we've got a couple of these in our house that... Uh, uh, just ideal for putting on little coffee tables or in the middle of um, a dining room table or a table where you can put a jar of uh, vase of flowers or whatever you want to put on them. Oh, yes, a fruit bowl would work very well in there. That's an idea from the gallery, uh, would you oh, believe? Yes. Not one of my Healthy, good healthy ideas. option, you see. <laughs> <laughs> now, you could use, could you use, uh, you get wadding in there, but I suppose you could use a heat resistant wadding as yes, well. Yep. You wanted to put your pots and yes, pans definitely on there. Yes, definitely a good idea, that one. And heat yeah. on there as well. Really lovely. I can see these on dressing tables as yes, well. Yes, yeah. Put a little bowl of potpourri or yeah. whatever you put on the dressing tables and things like that. Yeah, yeah lovely little hall table. Put your change on there, your keys as you come in as well, so save oh, mark in the table. That, was, that, was that from the gallery as well? No, was it was mine, that one. Oh, that was mine. <laughs> that was your idea. That's a good one as well. Oh. I like that, yes. Key, <sighs> keys, everybody's got a little bowl where they I keep their I've keys. I think I've got the better idea the keys with and the reaction change. from Mark Keys there. and change <laughs> are great. Uh, put that underneath, <laughs> yeah. No, that, do you know... All ideas are good ideas. They certainly are. 357-685 is the item number. 1099. Lovely little kit, that one. Everything pre-cut again for you as well. Now, I like the next item as well because we've got the strips for you. I think these are going to be busy. Now, what you've got here are five-inch strip fabric packs. You're getting ten designs in total, and you do have options here. Now, we had a sneaky peek at these in Good Morning Achanda, and we saw a couple in there, didn't yes. we, uh, Mark? Yes, we saw the... Um Stars and Harmony, or that one, and the Hannah. They're from a, a range of fabric that we've made two quilts in. Yeah. Um, and we've got these ranges of fabrics as well. These have been on before, but these two are the two new ones we've just uh, launched oh, today. Oh, lovely. Now then, I think what we might do, then, we, I, you can see the beautiful designs here, but maybe if we go to the two we've not seen before and have a closer look at these as well. So imagine you're getting five-inch strips in each pack, whichever option you're going for, so double the width of your, your normal, normal strips, jelly roll, isn't yeah. it? Your jelly roll strips. Look at these, absolutely beautiful. So it depends on the theme that you want to go with, the kind of colours that you want to go with. This is quite gentle in colour. You've got some beautiful designs in here. 400% cotton is all we ever use. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. So it really does open up the options because you've got the five inches in the width of the each strip there. Then yes, Mark. exactly, yeah. Now, I think, have we got samples? We have got a sample at the back. I'm just going to show you this one. Is this the one that... This is the one that we've got the sample made in. This one yes. here, right, yeah. but the one that I'm looking at here is one, another is new one. new one called Hannah, yes. So we'll have a flick through this and then we'll have a look at this gorgeous quilt behind us. The one you've got there is the one we've got the uh, latest block of the month, block of the month, the uh, ah. block set each month um, made up in. I like this, I love the blues in here and the greens. Isn't that gorgeous? This is Hannah, by the way, another new today for you. Just beautiful, but you've got lots of different options. But let's have a look at this sample, Mark. So, what's the name of the option that this we is country. require for this country? Okay. Oops, oh, sorry, I'm there you go. Got the it. And to make this size, you need two. Right. Okay. So you can buy multiples, of course, and at a great price of eighteen forty-nine. 
Only two sets to two make sets that. Two sets this, yes. And then you'd want your backing, backing fabric, and, obviously. Backing and uh, wadding. Wow, that, that is an incredible price Lovely to create warm a quilt this size. Fabric, uh, warmth to, the, to a sofa or to anywhere. I love this that. One, yeah. I would keep that on my sofa, I think, and snuggle under yeah, that at night, definitely. you know, when I'm watching TV. Or, no, or on your favourite chair or something as well. Yes. Beautiful. So £36.98, that's all it would cost if you wanted to go for two to make a quilt that size. Obviously you do need your backing, but that really is great value. Yeah. And Lovely. you do get a set of instructions how to make the one we've just shown you. Do you? Yes. Even better, even better. So the instructions included as well. 633301 is the item number. You've got lots of options. One, two, three, four, five, six different options to find on the website of course there, including the new ones that we've got today. Now, what about, there's no place like home, is there? There's Never. no place like home. I feel like I need to click my feet together now, <laughs> but I haven't got red shoes on. Now, this has been very, very busy already. In fact, you are buying ahead of the show. In fact, oh, over a third of the stock has gone. Over a third of the stock has gone. Now, I'm just querying this because, Mark, mm -hmm. what have we got on the screen? Block set eight, which is this one, for no okay. place like home. And this is the uh, rectangle quilt, the three colour rectangle quilt. Okay, we were showing. Yeah. The we weren't showing no, no place like home. <laughs> we were showing something else. They didn't match. That's why I queried it. But we are going to show you, first of all, this item. Go back again. <laughs> which is the three colour rectangle. There we go. I can save clicking my feet a little bit longer. <laughs> You've got the quilt kit here, 59 inches by 64 inches. It's pre-cut again. Now, this is interesting, Mark, because we have got the three-colour rectangle, but also you've got options here as well, haven't yes. you? Yes, yeah. The actual quilt uh, is hung is the one here. You've got the three colours in the box for the actual kit. If you only wanted to do it in one colour, we've got those options as well. Right, so you've got okay. the red, the black, and the blue. I see. Now we have got a sample behind us as well, so we can see the three colours together. So there's your three colour rectangle quilt kit. It is a huge size, it really is. 59 inches by 64. Pre cut as well. Of course, you're getting um, the full instructions to do that as well 793160. But if you did want those as, as full colour, so if you wanted all three panels to be in red, all three in blue, all three in black, then look at the details at the bottom of the screen and you can go for those options there. 73.99 is the price for that at the bottom of the screen. The uh, three panel one, you can see we've got a flexi buy on it as well, two payments of £37 for that item number 793.160. Now we can go. Now you can click your feet. No place like click home. Click your heels now. I love this, love this. <laughs> I love, love, love the colours again in here. Now, what have we got here then, Mark? Tell us okay, about this. What we've got on this one here is blocks at eight of 11. So okay. you get in there, you get the stars, okay. which are those there. If you can hold that one up. You get... This has been so busy already. The hexagon. Oh, I do I like that. It. Oh, look. So you get all these little uh, squares cut yep. ready for you. And oh, then wow. you get... The pinwheels. This so is all wonderful. of that is in blocks at eight. Absolutely wonderful. No one have been busy on this one. I think uh, many of you are collecting these, aren't you? But if you've seen this for the first time, you can still go for it as well. The price is nineteen ninety nine for the uh, No Place Like Home set number eight there. Of course, you've got the instructions for each of those blocks as well. Everything pre-cut again. Item number 025183. I would be quick on those because, because it is busy. Now, if you want to go for the whole kit, if you want to catch up because that is set number eight, you can do. You can find everything, of course. Uh, we'll bring the details up. On the website, you'll find everything. Now, I can tell you, if you're looking at this, as you've seen it there on the screen now, no place like home for the full quilt kit, which in total measures 70 inches by 70 inches when it's all put together. This is now limited uh, to this month. Now what's available, the stock that we've got left. Limited stock, so you need to be quick on this one. You have got a flexi buy of three payments on this one. Everything arrives in that beautiful box as well. £73 and 33 pence per payment, so this would be shipped out after the first payment. You'd pay the postage and packaging, if it applies of course on that one, 385-884 is the item number. It's been very busy as you can see, and as I say, limited stock. Let's have a look at what you can make. It's right behind us here. I absolutely adore this. I really, really <laughs> love this. Isn't it fabulous? 
And Mark is just ducking out of the way. Trying to keep out of the way. As normal. It is stunning, though, isn't it? It it's, really yeah, it's is. It's a lovely crop. Yeah. yeah. And British, people, British designed by ourselves. Of course, of course. <laughs> I wonder if while you were designing that, you sat with your cup of tea and your mug as well. Very nice link. Yeah. Cup these, of coffee. These are very, very popular. I haven't got mine yet. I'm going to have to go and get one. I keep saying I'm going to go and get one. I still haven't got one. I wouldn't use it for tea, though. I would, I'd be scared of cracking it and dropping oh, it and all we use it all the time. Look, oh, there's uh, Shana with her mug. There's oh, ben. ben. Oh, there's Jimmy. Jimmy looks like he's done something to his. He's, oh, look, Dougie's there as well. Oh, and Ross dunking his biscuits. And there's <laughs> only like, one left? That, yes, that's the one that we have left in stock, and they were all going for it at the same time. <laughs> There we are. So sixteen pounds and forty nine pence is the price. Really good quality these as well. They are, yeah. They are. You see, I would make a pin cushion to sit in there. Lovely, mm, yeah. Pop a good idea. In and keep it yeah. in my sewing room if I've got one. Nice gift for somebody as well. Got great gift. <laughs> yeah. Great gift. Six nine nine two three zero. Now, of course, we don't have to leave Pat out. We need to see some demonstrations. We'll, we'll bring it back in now. We? We'll yeah, let yeah, Pat come yeah. back in now. So Good what are we going to see then, Pat? Uh, we're going to talk about uh, set block set eight. Wonderful. Um, nice, quite simple, small projects. So you can get them out, put them away. Yeah. They're not, you know, it's not too complex this month. Um, so as normal, and you said you can buy the whole kit, but you can also go and buy the others one to seven one to eight they're all on okay, the website so you can start at one if you want to um they'll be around for a, while, a long while, a while yes. yes yeah um so we've got a um 16 stars block which is actually the same block that's in the little scrappy lovely little scrappy mat little, little, little scrappy mat, <laughs> little scrappy I mat. notice that yeah, yeah. um I, I try and link them so that you know you've got a bit of project that you know that you can link to another project but continuity we, continuity yes, we, we really do use <laughs> those mats like as yeah. a, a bit scruffy compared yeah. to that one aren't they, they are, yeah. <laughs> we do <Used>. just we <laughs> just they're just there not you know just there yeah. they come so we've got the that's an applique stars we've got our pin wheels and we've got our hexagon heart mm -hmm. now that um, as you saw is in a heart shape all you need to do I'm going to cover a hexagon in case anybody doesn't know um, about covering hexagons but what you want to do when you do it is just look at the picture once you've covered them and place them out not in they're not in, not in the same color or anything but just in the same or like shape to give you your heart shape place them out in front of you and then start joining them together then because I when I started it the first time the heart I actually did it completely wrong and Mark had to sort it out. Yeah. So there's pictures of you know how to lay it out. Just follow the shape as you go round. Okay. Uh, also picture here of the covering of the hexagon. We don't. We give you a square piece of fabric. We don't cut hexagon shapes because there's no need and they take longer. Okay. Um, so I'll whip through the hexagon first because that's really fast. Well, I can tell you we are very busy on this. <laughs> Almost 60% of the block set is now gone. We're very busy on the phone lines as well. If you go to the website, click it's an easiest way to shop, of course. You can be shopping ahead of us. Uh, obviously, you want to see the demonstrations as well, but that is the quickest and easiest way. If you are on the phone lines and you want to stay there, we will get to you, uh, but we are very busy at the moment. I went into the call centre last month. Did you? It was very ex <laughs> I was very excited, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah. I just somewhere you don't go. You don't no, go. We no. don't. I go there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never I been got before. I've got there a lot to order. They, 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 uh, <laughs> oh, is that where you go? Yeah. So we had a question, didn't we? Yeah, so we had a question, yeah. and we were still here. Yeah. So um, I went up and uh, answered the question. I was really yeah. excited. So if anybody's got questions, <laughs> yes, yeah, so right. email yeah, in yeah. studio at chanda dot com, of course. If you've got any questions to ask, if there's something you want to see, if uh, there's something you want to show us as well, yeah. maybe you've made kits from Totally Patched, and you want to show us what you've been up to then we'd certainly love to see those as well right I'm cutting out my you get your paper templates the important thing is to cut them on the line don't cut them outside or inside okay. you need them the accuracy in this this is English paper piecing and you get your accuracy from the template that you start yeah. off with okay with a bit of paper there. so pop that in the middle ish of your the square we've given you a needle and thread and we just tack the paper 
and fabric together. Okay. Don't do too many stitches because you've got to get them out eventually. So what I usually do, I put one in, then I go to my next side, turn it over and my next one holds that down. Uh. Turn it round, turn it over because you think, oh, I better put a lot in. And you know, if you put like four stitches across here, that's, you know, you've got to get them yeah. all out at the end. So it's ju it's just to hold it in place. That's a nice job to do while you're watching something Lovely. on the TV as well. That's isn't what you do. It? I That's love exactly it. what Pat does. Is it? Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. also, when I've got projects, the bits that I can't bear to part with, the fabric at the end of a cut Stop. or something, oh. uh, then I'll make them up into hexagons. I've got thousands, thousands and thousands. Yeah. Mm. There's so much you can do with hexagons, though, isn't there? Yes, there really there, is. There is, yeah. That, and you know, you—it's it's a traditional part of the craft. So I like to slip them in, like a quilt like this, yeah. where there's lots of different things. I like to slip them in so that you know we keep a bit of tradition, a bit of you know different stuff. So, and that's as simple as it gets. So you just Look cover all of your, your hexagons like that, and then you'll sew them together. When you sew them together. You put them right sides together and you just over sew. Okay. And again, in pictures, if you need yeah. instructions, yeah. you're in by picture form, isn't it? Of course. So that's, that's, the, that's the first one. I'm just going to hold up again the finished, well, yeah. it's not quite finished, is it, the block? But you can see no. the heart there made of those hexagons. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful block. Part of set eight, of course. Just going to give you a reminder of the other two as well. This is the one the same as the design on the scrappy mat. Love it in the blues, I've got to say. Doesn't mm. that look wonderful? Look, it looks nice in any colour, really. Mm. You know, yes. it's a nice. And selection. this is the pinwheel, isn't pinwheel, it? Pinwheel, yeah. Lovely. Um, if you want to give me the hexagons that okay. I've only pinned on, and I pinned them on for a reason, rather than stitch them, so that I could just show you the stitch that you stitch them onto your background with. Okay. Because you don't want to see these stitches unless you want it to be a feature. Right, so you okay. could machine them on, and then yeah. they become a feature. It would make but, a lovely cushion. But, it would make a beautiful Ooh, cushion. Lovely cushion. But if you don't want to see you stitch, I'll just quickly do this, because I don't think I've done this before. So come up from your work, uh, from the back. Where am I? Can you see me? There. Okay. You go down, you go into the back of the hexagon. So don't go like this. We're getting really close. Yeah, we're coming. So don't go through your hexagon like that, so that your needle comes out on the top, okay. right? You need to go in the back of the hexagon, slightly behind uh, the fold, like that. Yeah. Then you go down exactly where you've come up. Don't move across. Down where you've come up, and you come up through the back. Can you, can you, I'm looking yeah. at this, so is this okay on the camera? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. We can see Lovely. very well. So what sort of distance would you suggest each um, stitch I'd probably have about four stitches on each edge. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so not too many, just enough to keep it in place. Yeah. Would you practice that a bit, rather than yeah. try and get it maybe too tucked? Tucked? Puckered, or they whatever won't. you want, know, or whatever no they want to call it. Be just, no that's why I say we'd have maybe a practice. <laughs> you could, Yeah. but you know, once you've done one, you can undo it easily, so you just and then it's, this is called an invisible applique stitch. So if you're applying anything to a background, that's what you, this is the sort of stitch you use. So okay. you just go up, like so, and then you keep going round, round the outside and the inside, and then they're all in place. Now, okay? would you suggest, Pat, always catching the corners in? Yes, always the catch the corners. There. And what, you, what I haven't done here, which I meant to say, uh, give it a good press and take your papers out before yeah. you stitch it onto here. Okay. okay? Yeah. That's all. Right, but lovely. it's so relaxing to do. I mean, it, I, I mean, I love it. I'm a bit crazy, but I love it. So for someone that's never done the hexagons before, oh. we've put the paper in, we've tapped them, we've yeah. tapped them on the edges with a stitch each edge, yeah. uh, got those ready to go. You join, them, join together. them together. Yeah. Then you take your paper and they join together yeah. Yeah. before you put them onto your pile. Yeah. So like they'll be like this, and then they'll go over, and then you can see my little over stitches on there. Well, you can't see them. Lovely. That's a good thing. <laughs> Overstitch that joins it together. Then you give it a good press. Yep. Take your tacking out, and then they'll keep into shape onto your background. Lovely, lovely, perfect, perfect. So that's that. Oh, you can have it back if you want to. Uh, right, we'll do a pinwheel now because I haven't done any machining yet, which is unusual. Uh, where is my pinwheels? Have you got them? Oh, well, they're hiding. Hiding. Uh, pinwheels. Uh, simple. I think they've done pinwheels already, haven't they? Have they? I think so. Have they? Somewhere along the line. There's only three packets left, so they must have. I don't know if they have. Ooh, okay. I don't <laughs> think you have. Maybe you have. I don't Maybe think you have. 
Someone let us know. <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't be a conflict cut show without a little argument here. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is what we're doing. Lovely stage-by-stage -stage pictures, um, as you can see. Uh, what is, there's four pinwheels in the block. You take a light and a dark. You draw a diagonal line across the light there, and you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch either side of that line. Okay, so we've got our quarter inch marked um, with uh, on our foot. We know I know where my quarter inch is. Which, if you've got this far in the quilt, you'll know where your quarter inch is. Hope <laughs> 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 yeah. um, Just check everything and measure as you go along. That's yeah. that's all I would say. Um, just to you know, double check, double check with your little ruler if you've got one. Um, to make sure your quarter inch is accurate. You can usually do a little bit of, you know, a little bit of easing if it's not, but you know, we're, we're aiming for that, but it is a handcraft, so don't get too wound up about it. Uh, I see chain piecing, chain piecing yeah, so I'm just popping them one side to the other. Before we came on air today, I cleaned my machine. I don't think you should admit this. Did well, well I thought not it on air. <laughs> was it that bad? It was awful. <laughs> was it? Yeah, there was so much fluff in there, and I do clean it quite often. But it felt it wasn't quite right, so I yeah. thought I'll just have a look. Well, good job I didn't do it on air. You do a lot of sewing though, Pat. Yeah, we shall. Excuse but people you. do need to, you know, think about defluffing yeah. really <laughs> occasionally. Um, so as you can see, here we are. Now, which way am I going? Here, you can't really see. Uh, there's my line, there's my stitching, and it's a half an inch. Can I, oh, if I do it that side, you'll see better. Look, my stitching is half an inch apart. That's a quarter of an inch either side of my drawn line. So, at that stage, you could just drop your rule on and just make sure yeah. be before you go any further. Okay. Then, what you're going to do, you're going to cut it on the line, which it tells, shows you in your picture okay. at the top. Can't go wrong. We're going to do this on the bear's paw as well later. Oh, that sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> so, I an email in, actually, from Ooh. Sheila. Oh, excellent. Oh, Sheila. Sheila is saying, um, oh, she's nearly finished the harmony quilt. Excellent. The stars oh, harmony. Right. excellent. Yeah. And she's just ordered the harmony fabric from the five-inch strips uh -huh. to make matching pillowcases. Lovely. Now, this is what we're saying in Good Morning. Oh, you, yeah. was, uh, yes, because you've, because you've used the fabrics that we've seen yes. before in uh, different clothes. We've got yes. used today as well. But cushions and your pillowcases, other items, so you can get everything to match as well. <laughs> because yeah. they've made the quilt, they've already got the instructions to make the blocks. Of course. So they use one of those blocks yeah. in the cushion to go yes. with, the, with the quilt. Oh, wonderful. In so do habits. have a look on the website, of course, because you've got different options. So the Harmony option itself, we'll show you that there. There we go. That's that one there. We did show that one, didn't we? We went through those ones. That was the first one we looked at in detail, of course. Hannah we looked at as well, new today. Uh, but we have got other options there, geometric for you as well. Oh, I like that one. Then we've that's got nice. Down on the Veggie Patch. That's pretty. <laughs> Oh I, oh, I think that's my favourite, actually, now. Always dream. <laughs> oh, no, maybe it's that one. And then country. Oh, you just need them all, don't you, really? <laughs> How do you choose from these? Well, that's I've got the them all, so I don't thing. choose. I know. <laughs> like, I, I like... I like the versatility of the five inch strips yeah. because you can do so much with them. You could cut them up for hexagons, you could make them into blocks, you could applique with them, anything. And one yeah. of the packs will make... Um, can, we, can you show them that now? Well, we as it, as, as we were talking, talking about base, it, yeah. this is basic harmony. Okay. Um, so this is one pack. This is one pack. So right. you, and you get so a little bit left. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. You see again, that's a lovely size. There's yeah. like a little lap. And I've got yeah. a bit left here. Yeah. Look, that was what I had left from one pack, and it's because there's no waste at all. <laughs> Just that's checking it's not full of faces at the top. Would I? There's no wastage at all because you've got the strip and you just chuck. Chunk it away at it at seven inch, six inch, five inch, a sort in your lengths. Ah. Tells you in the pattern, you get a pattern with it. Wonderful. Um, so that's the half that's the size of the one that you picked up earlier. Yeah. So two packs makes the bigger one. So it's a great size, isn't it? Yeah. pastels as well. Beautiful. They? Now, Sheila, I'd love Sheila to send in her pictures when she's finished of everything, of course, as well. Now, the most popular one is the country, which is the quilt that we did show you earlier on. That was the one using the two sets. Yeah, that really big size. Yeah, yeah. Really autumnal, beautiful. 
dollars in yeah. there. Yeah. Absolutely standard. gorgeous. Yeah. Almost half of the stock has gone. Uh, oh, I like this one as well. This is, um, what's this called? Always dream. Always dream. This, oh no! This is always dream. Disappear again. Yeah, which we've done a quilt in. Always dream. You've this done is cushions in this as well. And cushions. You? Yeah, I've got them. Uh, and I've got this to this <laughs> stage. Another maid, Catherine. Another maid. Uh, yes. Yeah. I've got this to face. this stage, and as you can see at the bottom, <laughs> I'm at. A, I've got a, a ziggy zaggy edge, and I'm going to show people probably at oh. eleven o'clock how we level that off. Okay. Okay. That's Wonderful. why I've left that to that stage. Lovely. So make sure you tune yeah. in at eleven o'clock as well. Oh, honestly, I don't know how you're going to choose if you just want to start <laughs> one option. Then the, we might as well, while we're on it, talk about the three-colour rectangle quilt. Okay, we've because, been busy on this, actually. Because that gives you the flexibility of making it into, rather than looking just rectangles, by putting a border on to show people how it can look even different yeah. still. So, you, you know, you could have any of the five, three five-inch strip packs that would make that but you'd need three okay um uh, or the whole kits but the kit comes pre-cut they're not strips i see i see now we're just catching a glimpse <laughs> of the three uh, rectangle quilt there i just like the three colors there you go do you know what you could as well if you wanted to i suppose you could get three individual table runners out there. Yeah, you, you wanted could. to yeah, work yeah. with it in a different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are, there's plenty in the kit. So if you wanted to do a slightly different size, you could. Um, or make some cushions yeah. to go with them. Like these were my leftovers, leftovers from that. So that's all the black, that's the red, and that's the blue. So you can see there's a fair amount of fabric there is, left. isn't there? Yeah. Oh, we've got a flexi buy option on that for you as well for the rectangular kit there. Two payments of £37, item number 793160. And I did the three colours, and then Mark said, what if somebody just Bing! wants the red one? <laughs> and I went, what do you mean? He said, what if somebody just wants it all one colour? And we said, well, that's quite a good idea, yeah. Mark. Yeah, yeah? quite the, a good idea. Or the black one. Yeah. So the details black? at the bottom yeah. screen for those. Red, blue or black. You have got the choice there. I think it's lovely to have three all together. So do I. I like so the different. Multi-colour, yeah. multi decor yeah. yeah, I like the different. Yes. yes. OK. So, back to our pinwheel. Shall yes. we? Oh, yeah. Shall we? Did so, digress, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, I've made up my uh, triangles, cut them in half and press them. I've pressed them towards the dark fabric. Uh, place them out as per here. Look, you can't go wrong at all, can you? I forget when I do these patterns. Like, you know, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are very, I've got to say, they're very precise, very clear. I try, I try my best. Sometimes, you know, that doesn't work, but sometimes it does. <laughs> <laughs> I usually proofread it and I think, oh. No, that doesn't sound right. No. So we're going to join them into pairs now. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to put that onto there. Yep. And I'm going to join this seam in the middle. As you do that, lock these seams together. You can see... They will lock together there, and you can feel them lock yeah. together. And we're going to stitch our quarter inch seam. Now you can, if you want to, trim your ears. <laughs> so I'm going to show you two, so you'll see the difference to see which you'd prefer. Um, what it actually means is, I haven't trimmed my ears, they're sticking out here, look. <laughs> Try to keep a straight face. I don't think it's that funny. <laughs> Take no notice of these two. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you, ladies? Right. And gents. And gents, yes. Yeah, yeah. Some got, gentlemen oh, making the We've crowd. got lots of gents, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that with its ears left on. If I took them off, so I'm going to trim them off now. So that's, where am I? I'm there. I'm just there. trimming. Okay. Put it back the way it came. Pick this one up. Trim them off like so Lovely. put it back down okay like that and then you can see you've got a lot less bulk when you're working with the pieces um so if you've got the time i've never got the time so i have to whiz through them but it does help and there have no people think can i cut this off is it going to fall apart if i do but you can cut the cut your ears off so there same again <laughs> put them together <laughs> Put them together and lock your seams together and stitch your quarter inch seam. Oh, I've got a new name for Pat. Okay. Pat's, it's, she's the fun goth of sewing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can take that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never been the Van Gogh of every anything. Time, every time you make something now and you see those little ears stick it, I think, oh, I'm going to think yeah, that, yeah. yes. So now you're going to press your <laughs> seams. One, I've got one coming towards me and one away from me. Um, I would, I would press them with the iron. Uh, put them together 
and then again lock your seams together in the middle like so now if you want to pop a pin in that's fine it's up to you okay. I'm, a, I'm a risk taker I'm not going to put pins in straight it'll, it won't match now I've said that <laughs> and what I usually do I'll get to there and then I look to see my points here this mm -hmm. bit here that's my one point and then this bit here and I put them together just literally by eye there like so. Okay, lovely. It's a nice easy block this one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Look at that, not bad. Look. Look at that. See, we don't call you Van Gogh for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you just make another three of those and you join them together and you get what you've got there right in front of you. Which I shall hold up for you as well. So there's the finished block, of course. Let's have a little look at this. And this is a really versatile block because it can go in anything. They can be separate around a border, all sorts of things. I like a pinwheel. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Love this. Now, the new block set, block number eight, set number eight. We can uh, tell you now that 60% of the stock has gone. Great price at 19.99, Of course, you can still find the previous sets on the website, but you can also go for the full quilt. It is extremely limited stock now. That's what I can tell you as well now this is a great buy because well you're getting a 70 by 70 inch quilt that's the complete size of it you can see the sample at the back of me here you're getting the pre-cut quilt top and the binding as well and we're offering it on three flexi set flexi by payments so three payments of 73 pounds and 33 pence this really is one of those projects that you're going to absolutely love doing because of all the different detail the different blocks in there and it's a family heirloom that's what i like about it 385 884 is the item number now something else to mention to you as well of course we're not that far away from going to the nec so let's have a little look at the tickets and the details for that because we're only about three weeks away so the creative craft show is at the nec birmingham birmingham, birmingham i can't say it and of course you are saving four pounds on the price there let's give you more information we've got a video to show you but the details on the screen and of course on the website Hochanda will be attending the Creative Craft Show at the NEC in Birmingham from Thursday the 19th of March until Sunday the 22nd of March. Take part in our famous Hochanda Tombola to win prizes galore. Or why not join one of our numerous make and take sessions being run by our crafty guest experts. You will be so inspired by their wealth of knowledge and expertise. You'll find us on stand F08 in Hall 11, so come along and say hello to the team. We would all love to meet you. Order your tickets online today at hochanda.com and we'll see you there. Yes, yeah, see you in Birmingham. There you go. Right, I'm going to be there one of those days as well. In fact, we're all going to be there, I think, at some point. Now, a bit of a recap, recap for you down the counter because we started right here with the Bear's Paw table runner. Being a popular item as well, I can tell you. So 52 inches by 20 inches is the finished size. It is a full kit, pre-cut for you. So by that, you're getting all the fabrics that you need. You're getting the squares, of course, everything to make those blocks. You're getting the lining. You're getting the wadding in there as well. You just need to provide of course your sewing machine and your thread and as Mark said your time now very busy on this one almost a quarter of the stock gone there is another show coming up later on as well it is a new today as you can see there and a flexi buy option on this one two payments of 20 pounds item number 715252 you can see the sample the finished sample on the wall here as well gorgeous I love the colors in this one I really really do we're going to see that in the next demonstration, I believe, as well. So watch out for that. Now, moving on down. Oh, a lovely project, this one. If you're looking for something quite simple, maybe as a starter as well, this might be a nice option to go for. Do you know, a very useful item. It's a scrappy little mat. It's 12 inches by 12 inches. Again, it's a kit, so everything pre-cut for you. I love the hand stitching in this one as well. I think that adds so much interest. Once again, the colours work beautifully. The green, and kind of those uh, dusky pinks and reds in there as well. Well, 10.99 is the price for this one and almost 20% of the stock has gone 357.685 is the item number a great gift again this one or something that you want to buy for yourself if you just want something simple to start with or something um, you know it's a reasonable price isn't it a very cheap price in fact I should say because 10.99 very very affordable for everyone moving down something else that's been popular are the strips 
Now, I can tell you one of the most popular items on the show, so I think we'll have a, a flick through some more options here as well, because I need to decide which is my favourite as well. Now, the first one, down on the veggie patch, this caught my eye as we saw it on the website, actually. Quarter of the stock has gone. Love the colours in this one. You've got sage greens, you've got pinks, you've got uh, very soft muted colours here, natural colours in there. Very delicate, but you've got gorgeous designs. We've got the little bunnies in there. We've got the mushrooms or the toastals in here as well. These are adorable, aren't they? So there we are. That's the first option. Then, of course, we're moving on to Always Dream. We had a little look at this earlier, put together in a quilt set. Lovely colours once again. A quarter of this set has gone as well. Oh, I really like this one. Do I like the first one? Do I like this one? Do you know what? I have got cushions in this. I might have to go for this one. Love these. Look at these lovely, lovely designs. All cut out in those five-inch strips again, so it does open up those options for you. Then we have the country, which I'm going to give you a reminder of the quilt that we've got as well. Three quarters of the stock gone on this one. This is the most popular one so far. Very autumnal, very rich in colour. You've got the reds, the golds in there. You've got blues. It's almost a petrol blue in there. You've got greens in here as well. Oh, these are absolutely stunning, aren't they? Look at those. Gorgeous. No wonder that's so popular. Then, moving along, we've got one of our news today. So, the Basic Harmony. So, this is a little bit softer in colour again. A little bit more muted. You've got delicate colours in here. Blues, yellows, reds, greens. A little bit of lilac in there as well. Almost 40% of the stock has gone on this option. I think that was the one that Sheila emailed in about. She's got the quilt. She's going to make pillowcases to go with the quilt that she's already made. Then the next one, another new one, Hannah Sheet. This is a gorgeous one as well. Two-thirds of the stock gone on this one, so very busy. And we've seen uh, Pat, I think, was using uh, some of the same fabrics, wasn't she? Because this is, this is also using the quilt kit. We've seen in that block there, in block eight. Lovely. And then finally, we've got the geometric. So if you want something a little bit more funky, maybe, you've got lots of greens in here. You've got uh, mustard in there. You've got some black in here as well. So the colours really pop. Oh, I can imagine a nice black lining on the back of this one. Maybe some binding on the edge if you're making a quilt out of it. I'm just going to show you the quilt that we've got in the country. Now, I may not be quite big enough to hold this up, but just a reminder that if you go for two sets two sets oh Kirsty's going to come and give me a hand thank you Kirsty. if you get two sets of the strips you can make this quilt this size here and you get the pattern to do this as well so obviously with one set you can go for a smaller quilt you can make other things as well but going for two this is what you can create so 36 pounds and 98 pence would be the price of course to get the two sets to create this add your lining you're getting the instructions to do that as well really beautiful i think well worth popping into your basket two sets if you can afford to do that six three 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 zero one is the item number now moving down we're coming up next to the three color rectangle quilt kit and we are going to give you the other option as well if you want to go for individual colours. But I love the idea of this because you have got all those three colours all together there. So it's a full kit again, pre-cut. Look at this. Enormous in size as well. 59 inches by 64 inches is the finished size. If you wanted to break that down and use this and, you know, turn it into table runners, cushions, you can do as well. But doesn't it look magnificent as a quilt? It really does. 793-160. And FlexiBuy on that one as well. Two payments of £37. Now, if you want to go all red, if you want to go all blue, or you want to go all black with that, you can do as well. Details at the bottom of the screen there, 562-668, you've got those options. You have got FlexiBuy on that one as well. It's the same, two payments of £37. Then, of course, something else that's been extremely popular, set number eight of the blocks of that wonderful uh, quilt kit. Now, we saw this in the first demonstration from Pat. Just 19 99 is going to get you this one. So you've got the three blocks. You've got the instructions for those three blocks as well, of course. We've got the pinwheel. We've got the hexagon there to make that beautiful heart. And then we've got, uh, oh, I've forgotten the official name of that one, but it's the same as the scrappy mat detail. I'll check with Pat when we go back. 1999-025183 for set number eight. If you want one to seven, oops, they are available on the website. But of course, also, we've got the full quilt set as well. Hopefully... Hopefully, it's very limited stock now. I can't get that to stay. Let's have a little look on the website because we'll see everything there. Look at these five-star reviews. 
Uh, we've got lovely five-star reviews on so many items here as well. Now, you need to be very quick for that full quilt set. Very limited stock now. Beautiful designs. I don't, I don't think it matters what you go for from Totally Patch. Everything is just stunning. Such an eye for the fabrics and the colours as well. Everything on the show today, plus lots more besides. And we've got threads available as well, which we can show you. We've got patterns galore. We've got uh, mugs as well. Don't forget your mug. Get those for gifts. Treat yourself and get them for gifts as well. They're beautiful. There we are. Now, the detail for the mug. I'm just going to show you that again here, because it does come. Gift box for you as well. Been busy for this one again today. I'm not surprised. Got them back for you. Now, the colours may vary slightly in the yes. patchwork, but you're going to kind of get all the colours in there. Just mm, some yeah. of the, just the wording up. is yeah. mixed up differently. But what I like is, when we turn this around, look at that. You've got that lovely smiley flower there with the bees on there as well. I just want to know why, every time I do a show with Pat and Mark, I've got one of these sat in front of me with no tea in it. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Never Not mind. our department. Not one our day. department, no. <laughs> one day. Um, just on the big kit. Okay. Uh, you get the, the, the plastic box and the cardboard box. We couldn't get everything in the plastic box. Oh. And it all comes packaged in individual boxes. Yeah. Uh, individual packets will be cut. Lovely. Okay. So you don't have to get everything out all at once. Do no. it a block at a time. Yeah, package. Yes. Just get one out at a time. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. So. Ooh. We're going to look at the Bear's Paw Table Runner. I really do like this. So do I. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I've got a feeling it could be quite prominent in our house. <laughs> I, I oh. love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it's a di little bit different, the block is, because it's not like four patches or nine patches. We've got blocks and then sections that make up the block in total. But it's just just exactly the same in fact we're starting exactly the same as our last one um okay. i've got a kit here do you want to hold that mark oh go on kit there. when you open your kit you'll get your pattern obviously um and then there's two different sizes of squares now what you've got to do is make sure you use the correct size squares yeah. so we're going to make half square triangles like we've just done but you do it with the largest squares Otherwise, well, you won't have enough of the small ones. The small ones go in the middle and under the corners. So that's what we're going to do. Um, all um, fully illustrated. There's a whole, pa whole page of writing there. I must have had a lot to say. <laughs> and when I made this, uh, when I started making this, um, I was at a class uh, wandering around sewing my blocks. And so you can see from my picture here, I stitched it by hand. Ah. Um, and they look quite soft and, and gorgeous. So what you do, if you want to, I thought we'd, we've done exactly this here. We're making fast pieced half square triangles, which is exactly what we did for the pinwheels. So you draw your line down the center and you stitch either side of that line, like so, there. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to do it by uh, hand, you've got to know where to draw to stitch. So what you do is you draw your line down the middle like that and then you add on your quarter of an inch either side. See that? Okay. So that you know where you're going to actually sew and cut. That's the, the thing. So we're going to um, stitch on the line we've drawn and to do that because a lot of people don't want to get involved with a sewing machine and you know. That's very true. Yeah. So I thought I'd just show you it's See, it's simple, really simple. So I've got a little knot in my thread and I'm going to do a small running stitch. If you want to start with a back stitch, you can if you, you know, if you prefer that. I usually start with a knot and then I just do a small running stitch. Okay. Can we see that? We can see it, yes. Yeah, like so. So then you go all the way across that line, all the way across this line cut apart exactly the same as all the pictures um, and then you've got you will have something pretty cute like this lovely, lovely. they are cute aren't they, they are cute yeah <laughs> so once you've done that it tells you what to do follow this exactly you've got the process i've just done there We've drawn our lines and I've stitched. And the reason I've explained the hand stitching is because you can see I've got three lines on it here. And that's because I photograph as I go along, you see. So that's why it looks hand stitched. Um, and that's where we've got our cute little half square triangle. Okay. 
then you make up um, how many of these? Six, total of 64, right? 16 for each block. I see. So once you've got those, you use them like this, and you're going to put them together so that they're joined as it, exactly as it looks in the picture. So like that. Okay? Okay. Can you see lovely. that? But on the yeah. other side, they're going to look like that. Okay. So they're opposites. Yep. Just That's, follow the pictures. Yeah, just follow the pictures. Don't think about it too much. Just follow the pictures. Tells you to make 16 of each. Okay, here we go again. Show me the pictures. This, so this, this is what I love about quilting <laughs> because you look at the blocks part and you think, oh, that looks so complicated. Yes. But when you see it and you break, break it, down it down so easily, yeah. Yeah. So I, to make it look so easy. And it is easy yeah. for people to do a block like this. Yeah, it, it's, it is, as you say, you look at it and you think, I could never do that. Yeah. But it's just the same. You start with squares usually, triangles, and you do it a stage by stage. So if you follow the stages, then you can't go wrong and having it cut yes. yeah and you having it cut the yeah of course exactly lay it out so it looks like the block yeah and then you know you've got yep. all the pieces in the right place Definitely. so i've made two of the these this is four quarters to the bear's paw so okay. then what what you do with the pieces that you've made here on the last one that i just shown you you take some of them so the, this one i'm at the top of the page now and that's my large square and i want to pick up the piece that is looks like this so I'm going to pick this one up and see does this look like it yes it does I've got my lights on the outside and my dark there so then you pop those together and you stitch them together okay quarter inch so I'll do that do you know I've been sat here thinking about, I don't know <laughs> no, I'm thinking why am I drawn to certain fabrics because I love everything that you do but there's certain ones that I'm yeah. really really drawn to yeah and the, the most obvious thing is it is just the color but it's not you know I've realized what it is what my favorite childhood program oh little house on the prairie oh, oh yes yes, <laughs> yes. And that's oh, the thing why I love the prairie points. Yes, yes. probably is, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, because I'm, lo I'm just looking at this and I'm yeah. looking at the fabrics here and I'm imagining Laura Ingalls Wilder's dress. <laughs> yes, that's and right. And the colours, a little curry yeah. as she runs down the hill, she's wearing a dress in that sort of yeah. colour. You see? That's why so you, you are always drawn to colour first. Yeah. Mm. And then it's what you do with it. Like on this, on the runner, you'll see I've used smaller prints in the centre. Yeah. and then a bigger print, a feature print on the outside. Yeah. So when you're, if you're sitting at home thinking, well, you know, how does she do this? You know, it's not super, you know, super, you are. You are. super knowledge. You are. It's just think you about are. it. You wouldn't put a big print on a little piece. No. So if you put the big print with the house on here, you're going to chop half the house off, aren't you? So it when you're doing anything, yeah. just look at it the way you want to see it, really. And obviously it comes with experience, but, you know, we, we all got to start somewhere. We certainly do. <laughs> so, uh, right, the next one, I'm We're here. We're busy on this kit, by the way. We've lost a lot of the stock on this one. Half the stock has gone. You have got mm -hmm. another hour at 11 o'clock, haven't you? Yeah. But, uh, yes, very, very busy on this one. Details still on the screen there for you right now. So what you do then is you take, up, take one of these pairs that we made earlier and we put a... a cream piece on the side exactly like the picture make it look like the picture don't put I've got to find the wrong one I can't find one no I can't find one I haven't got the wrong one um, so like that and then what you do looking at the picture again positioning it exactly as it looks on my picture which I can't okay. do <laughs> like so so that's this part of it that we made at the top of the page so then we're going to put this one that we've just made on and we're going to join it to that. And if you're looking at it and, and still can't get it, you need the dark to be next to the dark. So you wouldn't put it on this way because your light's next yeah. to your dark. Yeah, and once, like, once you've done one quarter of this, you'll have one and you've got my pictures to follow. So you're away with it then. Yeah. The question someone might be thinking, is it important to put the top or the side or the bottom or the side on first? Just do as I've said. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, but that bit or that bit, I mean. 
always do his, always do his <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you've got to do it's it. One of the questions that someone might be thinking. You've got to do it in this order, yeah, okay. otherwise your corner will be in the wrong place. Right. Yeah. And and, and I, I've yeah. got we've got a, a bear's paw oh, table <laughs> runner that's like really old, twenty years old, I would say. And one of these little things is the wrong way round on it. Oh. And I didn't notice for years and years. Just one of these is turned the wrong way round. And I never, I didn't notice. And then. I couldn't believe I hadn't noticed when I did it, and then I couldn't know I hadn't noticed for years. So you know, it's a handcraft. How do you feel about that now? You spotted it though. Does it really annoy you, or do you just think, do you know what? Just no. shows we all make mistakes, and you accept it. it. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. annoy me because it it it's a handcraft, yeah. and and like you know, why not? It's it's fine. You can just. And I hadn't noticed it anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have noticed it at the time, I'd have changed, changed it. it. Mm. But it wasn't even like a week later. It was <laughs> absolutely years, years later. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I've got my a third one done. Okay. Do you know, that comes together so quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. You can see the pattern forming. So away. I'll pretend I've done that one and I'll just show you how they go together now. So we okay. take this section here yeah. and we put it onto there and we're going to put it right sides together, quarter inch seam. I'm thinking of doing a quilt in this pattern, this bear's quilt. Oh, it will look amazing. Yeah. Do you know, we've had another email in, actually, Ooh, from good. Angela this Ooh, time. Okay. Angela's sat with a totally patched mug, <laughs> in a pyjamas, having a coffee. I'm so pleased somebody does actually use it to drink from. Yeah. Watching the show as well. They are fabulous, aren't they? Angela, lovely to hear from you. I hope you're enjoying the show. Of course, uh, everybody can get one of the mugs. Well, not everybody, because we've got limited, certain limited stock. We haven't got endless stock. But if you want to go for it, you can get it now. £16.49, a great gift. Of course, if you want to use it for your tea or coffee, you can do. If you want to put a, a pin cushion in there, you can. If you want to put your, uh, I don't know, fabric pens in there. Just have it on show, proudly, on the shelf. I think these are wonderful. I really do. And great gifts, because they do come in those lovely boxes. And wide enough to dunk. Oh, yes, we saw that with Ross, yes. didn't we? Yes, yeah. They're very important. Yes. <laughs> um, you'll see uh, here that you make these sections next, and I've gone this way. So it's like I've gone the wrong way oh, round on the yeah, picture, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> hey. We've got about three and a half minutes left for demo time. Okay, right. Can we that, that's all right. <laughs> we've stitched. We've stitched one to the other. Now going to stitch this one onto oh. here as well. I didn't hear what Mark said. Then. Oh, can I repeat? That? I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> Demonstration time pattern. Mark turned to me and whispered, well, more or less whispered, and three and a half minutes for me to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like sitting next to Catherine? Ooh. <laughs> anyway, back to the showing. He loves coming with us. <laughs> right, I'm now going to do this top bit, join these two together. So, same again, we're just doing little pieces, rectangles to square. You've got to come back at 11. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> we can be an empty chair. No, we've got yeah. to behave. We've got Alex. Oh, then. Alex, yes. Got to behave. Yes. <laughs> Putting that onto oh. there. Oh. <laughs> I, th I think I won't ring him at 11. <gasps> oh, 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 we'll have viewers now. Because <laughs> everybody loves Mark. To a chunder. Chunder. <laughs> yeah. so Bring back Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that I'm just going to announce while Pat's just Ooh, putting some bits and pieces, the full quilt kit, the one that's behind us, has sold out. Uh, sold oh. out. Oh, wow. Okay. Well done. You're going to absolutely adore that. We will. We will have some more probably. You know, next month. It's just that's just with all month. we've yeah. got. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Now, of course, you can go for the home set eight. No place like home set eight. That's the new block set. Block set one, right through to seven, is still available as well on the internet, so on the website there. So if you want to go for them individually, you can be collecting those along the way. But of course, the full the full set, we have sold out of the stock for this month. I presume then what you have to do is you can't put any more until you've cut all the pieces. Exactly, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, you know, we've got fabric, but it does take a long while to cut. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we just haven't got the... Manpower. <laughs> no, so we just, you know, we'll, they will probably there will be, be back more. next month. There will yeah. be more. Wonderful. Um, so I've stitched the two, 
this is rose and then I'm going to stitch that to that and you see that's how that comes together yeah. and forms the center of the bit board and it does block. look absolutely stunning it really does yeah. now over half the stock has gone of this particular item as well it is beautiful it really is and i think anybody watching who's been thinking do you know i really want to have a go at this but i don't know where to start it is a project that you could start with this one yeah because it's a, it's an impressive uh, project to start as your first quilt or whatever runner but um, it's a simple process, yeah. all the same. Yeah, yes. Beautiful. Yeah. And I just want to point out again the detail <laughs> on the body. I love this. So you've got yeah. that little bit of interest there, that little yeah. fold there as well. And it adds just interest but not not um, volume. So it just sits there. And you like it goes it goes across, don't you? Like it goes, it crosses the top, doesn't it, it rather does. than it coming I up. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely adore it. Well, we're almost at the end of the show. We've just got seconds left. Do check those baskets out, of course. Uh, do continue buying as well. There will be sales in between the shows, but come back and join Pattern Mark at 11 if Mark has survived that <laughs> long, of course. Uh, I'll protect you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> as long as you make me a cup of tea in that mug. Done. Uh, we'll see you a little bit later. Stay with us. There's more to come beforehand. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Pat, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Coming up next, we've got Heartfelt Creations One Day Special. And then, oh, at 10 o'clock, Thomas Kincaid. And then we're back with Pat and hopefully Mark. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Well, Nikki, I know. what are I'm we only going just to here. do? I'm only just here. Bless you. Now, the one day special absolutely flew out the door. I think this is, um, it was a phenomenal launch, wasn't it? It was. We knew it was going to be popular. Yeah. It's floral. 
but this has just been absolutely amazing yes indeed it has now we are limited stock on uh, this collection let me tell you because obviously heartfelt's in the states they are you've been trying to make phone calls but of course you I know have, they're, they're five hours bed, behind they're in bed asleep i'm just hoping they have a little baby <laughs> this is you I don't often hear this much right? <laughs> i think it's about three months old yeah and I'm hoping he's going to keep them up <laughs> so, so, that that, get more stuff. so that heart, they, they yeah. start checking their phones because that's what we do when they keep us up, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you want to get the one day special, because we at the moment, as we, we can't guarantee you know, once it's gone, it's gone. We don't know if we can get any more stock. It is limited the supply that we have got. So please check out your baskets. Now, so you can see here, we're getting the stamens you in with are, this. And these are gorgeous and they're different and they're huge. And they? Oh. They are. So they aren't just stamens you know you so you can use them in the middle of your flowers you can add prills to them you can add pearls to them mm -hmm. with them but then you look at them and you're thinking I can see berries yeah yeah absolutely. I can see little tiny Easter eggs to, oh, that's to use on my Easter cards I can also see balloons yeah you could, oh that's a cute idea now of course the, the stamens are only a fraction of what you're getting but it's a nice addition in the one day special so what it about is. our stamps and dies right so we have two stamp sets one is the small wild rose mm -hmm. and then the second is the large wild rose then we of course have the <clears throat> excuse me the deck um, the dies that coordinate with Indeed, those which is always great from heartfelt now although we're calling them roses <clears throat> you are just, yeah, yeah, I don't know where my voice has gone this morning. Don't worry, <laughs> do you want me to carry on just while you are? No, it's fine. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> so you can create lots of different types of flowers. Wonderful. As with all of heartfelt stamps and dyes, you're going to create beautiful, beautiful, um, well, adorable. Shall we just, yeah, because I think that's probably the best way of doing Look it. Look at this. And flowers, they never go out of date, do they? They never go no. out of fashion. They're for all occasions. <laughs> they are beautiful. Oh, and look at look this at one. one. So this one here is using the larger ones. Yes. So okay. really, really nice size. You could make corsages with these as well, I think. Mm -hmm. And then look at mm. these ones. Oh, and look at this on the heart plaque. All of these are the same flowers, and that's what I, th I love about Heartfelt, because they don't just give us the stamps and dies. They give us the inspiration. Mm. And you also get in the one-day special the die <laughs> to make this fantastic gift box. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? Or how about a basket? Oh, the sucky for Easter especially. Um, now this die has sold out individually. You can only get it I in know. this bundle. Mm -hmm. I know, and this is what we're trying to do. We're yes. trying to get more stock. Uh, so, now as well as the dies and the flowers, you've got the moulds mm. too. Yes, so you have two moulds in here. So the first one, the small one, will go with the smaller stamps and dies, and then the large one will go with your larger one. You've got your leaf in there as well. These are absolutely amazing. Stunning. They are going to shape your flowers. They are going to add dimension. And, t you know, you know, normally when mm -hmm. you see me flower shaping, I use my um, stylus and my ball tool. Yes. And my mat. I still will use that. Of course. But I'm going to be a fraction of the time. Excellent. I will be able to create flowers. And, of course, I've got the moulds here just so you can see them. So you're getting the... You're getting a big bundle here so here are the molds that you can see perfect for the large flowers and the small flowers and of course it wouldn't be a heartfelt package if we didn't have oh, of the course paper the pad. paper pad this is absolutely beautiful with obviously the theme of the paper pad being the wild rose indeed this is going to be um, a paper pad that you're going to be used in conjunction with other paper pads that you have. Yes. Because the colours are, are, you know, you've got those dusky pinks, your pale pinks, your sage greens, that dark green. Easy make quick cards with these as well. Absolutely. And of course, uh, because this is a consumable, you can actually get a second paper pad should you wish. Now, I'm guessing this fits the dies. <clears throat> they do. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. So you're going to get two sheets of this one. Mm -hmm. And spin that around. Lots and lots of leaves on the here as well. Gorgeous. And then you've got your smaller ones as well. So these are great if you want to make really easy quick cards. You don't have time to colour, stamp and die cut. Absolutely. Look at these beautiful <laughs> colours. I, they, Heartfelt always do such a good job with their tones. They do. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you've got your cottage there. I think we've seen the cottage in quite a few of our collections. Yeah. So again, you know, think about all the other collections that you've got in your crafty stash as well. Mm. 
It's more of a paper kit, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, I yeah. think it's a shame just to call it a paper pad mm -hmm. because you have got your panels, you've got your sentiments, you've got tags, you've got ribbon strips in there. And as I say, you have got those images as well that you can use and use your dyes in conjunction with as well. Lovely. And let's just show a few more samples then because, I mean, I mean, look at these. So again, I'm going to reiterate, the die to make this lovely gift box or basket has sold out individually. You can only get it in the one day special. So many different ways that you can use the dies as well. Heartfelt, again, they don't just give us the die to create a box. No, no. They give us other dies that we can mix and match together. Mm. I mean, I'm thinking a favour box for a wedding. Brilliant idea. In there, that. confetti. Yeah. You can put your confetti in there. Love that. And then again, back to our wonderful mm. cards. And of course, you can use them for your scrapbooking, your journaling. Mm. Isn't that stunning? There's your stamens in the middle there as well. Very nice. <coughs> They're good. They're a good size, <coughs> like you said. Wonderful. So to recap then, in this kit, which is fantastic, you are getting the 12 by 12 paper pad, you have got your large and small flower stamps and dies to match. You've got the moulds to match the uh, flowers too. And also you have got the die to make that wonderful gift box. It's super limited, uh, <laughs> 129.91, but don't let that put you off because we have spread the cost for you. Three payments of 43 pounds and 30 pence. 977100. But like we said, um, it was a phenomenal launch. Now, if it doesn't quite suit your budget, um, then we have got the essentials collection of your wild rose. And here you're getting the paper pad, uh, plus you're getting the um, wild rose stamp and die to match. £46.97. 290288. Now, it is also on Freedom, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, so you've got a further saving. For, uh, we've taken it to £42.27. And, and you can spread that cost to two payments of twenty-one fourteen if you are a Freedom member. But most of you are going for everything, um, so please do check out your baskets. It, you like in the flowers. Is it spring as well? Coming it into is. it. It well, doesn't feel like but an the outside. thing is, I'm <laughs> seeing Christmas roses with those as Why well. Not? Yeah. And uh, especially with the stamens, you mm -hmm. could use those, as I say, all year round, make different types of flowers with them. Nice. But of course, you're going to start with the basic. Right. So you are going to stamp your image first, then you're going to use your die to cut those images out, and this is what you will get. I've already started colouring them. That's all right. So I've coloured the centre in yellow there. Mm -hmm. I've got my leaves here as well. Not sure which size these are because there's so many. Mm. We have how many? One, two, three, four. We've got six sizes all together. Okay. Okay. And then you've obviously got your leaf as well. Mm -hmm. So you can mix and match them together. There's a few flowers there actually oh. that we did yesterday. So that was just using the two larger ones. Right. And then one of the stamens. And then I've added some glitter to the stamens as well. They look great, don't they? Oh, just look how many flowers. You can go to town. That one's using the flower foam that we have on the show today. Oh, marvellous. Look at that. Look at the difference. Beautiful. Loving these. Make your own corsage. So what I'm using is I'm using the daubers. Mm -hmm. I'm using a mixture of archival inks. I've got oxides. I've got some Hampton Art inks there. Well, to be honest, I just go by the colour. If yeah. I like the colour, I don't mind. It doesn't matter what don't ink. don't mind what ink it is mm -hmm. because it is all going to work really really well so yep. i'm just shading these in with the daubers we did have the daubers on the show but i'm not sure if they've sold out they have gone now actually gosh so many okay. things are selling out okay this makes it very very easy to color because you're yep. still going to get your shading in here as well mm -hmm. so just add a little bit of dark there as i say i'm using a mixture of my oxides and my archival purely because I like this colour of the archival. Mm, in actual green. fact, I'm using the same colour as what I stamped the leaf in, okay. which is the fern green, I think. <laughs> Having said that, it might be the olive that I stamped them in. And then going back to the flower, so what I like to do first is I go in with a paler colour, so yeah. I'm going in with a sugar spun oxide that one oxide. isn't it yeah. this blends really well it gives it a really nice chalky effect mm. but of course you could if you wanted you could use your watercolored pencils you could use your 
um, alcohol markers, so whatever you prefer. I prefer this way. Yeah. One of the main reasons is I make a lot of flowers. I know you do. So <laughs> I haven't got a lot of time to spend colouring. But what I've found with these is once you put them through the mould, mm -hmm. you can add more colour to them as well. So we'll be showing you that as well. That's good. So just pop those over there. So having the mould, very handy tool to have. And then I'm going to go, oh, which one? I'll tell you what, we'll go in with the archival fu uh, mm -hmm. vibrant fuchsia right. and then I'm just going to touch down on the edges oh, and again really this pretty. is why I like my daubers apart from I've got it on my fingers <laughs> just like that off very nice now if you want to send in any of your pictures as ever we love to see what you've been making any of previous uh, the previous heartfelt shows or collections that you'd like to show you can send your pictures to studio at hachanda.com or you can pop the picture on Facebook that would be great. Yes. So maybe you you purchased the rose collection mm. a few years back because we have brought a rose collection out before. All of the sizes we have here, yeah. all of the shapes, all of the design is different. Good, so there's no repeats. Okay. There's no repeats in this at all. So again, use those alongside these and even create even more types of flowers. Mm. So just add in... That and what I like pink. again on the um, on the actual drawing of the stamp, you know, you've got those little edges, those elements that guide you for shading. Yes, yeah, so you've got your shading in here, not too much, but you've also got like the um, the center of the flower as well. Mm -hmm. It's just very very easy to use, and that's what I love about Heartfelt because they think of everything. Yes. They are crafters. At the end of the day, they Absolutely. know what we want. They listen to us crafters too. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we've been asked many, many times, you know, we want bigger flowers. Right, you got it now. We want to be able to create um, flowers to put on our larger projects, on our yep. home decor. And that's what Heartfelt's done. Mm -hmm. That's what they've given us. Good. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of scattered, scattered straw mm -hmm. just to do that centre of that flower. What you can do as well, if you really wanted to, so I will probably, because I'm going to layer them up, mm. I wouldn't probably do this to the um, bottom ones, but if you take the ones that are going to be the top of the flower, yeah. I'm going to go in. Oh, all right, yeah, green. that looks really effective, actually. Just pull that up. Mm -hmm. And because it's the oxide, the oxide colour sits on the top, rather than actually blends with it, if that makes sense. It does. It still stays a really nice, vibrant colour. Looks re that finishing touch is just perfect. And then, I think with this one, we'll do the centre, but I'm going to create a bud with it. So, I'm going to add a bit of green at the back as well, just mm -hmm. to, because if you think about roses, a or a lot of buds, whatever flower it is, they tend to be a little bit green yep. before they actually come out. Mm -hmm into full bloom so there's my flowers mm -hmm. and then we're going to take oh, the flower, flower mold have a look and I have to say Heartfelt have brought many many amazing products out in the last few years but mm -hmm. I think the flower mold is brilliant is, isn't it? it is absolutely brilliant if you've never ever used one before and you're thinking well how do I use it yep you're you will us. need a die cutting machine you will need a die cutting machine that's got a wide mouth mm -hmm. so if you think about your large, thick dies, yep. like your deep dish dies, mm -hmm. if your your machine will take those, you know that your flower mold will go through it. Yep. It won't go through the Gemini, and it won't go. They won't go through the Grand Color, Grand Caliber. Sorry. Okay. But there is a list on Heartfelt's website. Oh, that's good. So just pop on over there, pop in flower shaping moulds, which machine to use, and there's mm -hmm. full details on there. Excellent. So as you can see, they fit in beautifully and yep. perfectly. A bit like a puzzle. You can put them in either way. Okay. Oh, I didn't colour that one. Let me just add a bit of colour, else that will probably annoy me there. Mm -hmm. So, as I say, depending on how you're going to shape them up, what I would probably say is do half and half. Right, okay. So you've got a nice mixture and then you can start creating flowers because I can guarantee you, you will lose hours in mm -hmm. your craft room. Mm -hmm. So these two here, yeah. 
that one will obviously fit in that one if you wanted and you can pop I was gonna say two in can you do that that will be fine yep now your leaves and that size will go in the other one. Oh, so I see what I like to do is because I've used my oxides if I was to spray the flower on the top like I normally do mm -hmm. That would kind of bleed, yeah, and I ruined. don't, I don't want that kind of effect. You may want that effect. So what I'm doing is, I'm just doing it on the back, which I should have done before I probably so put okay. these. So in what the mold. does the water do? This do you have helps. To use the water. Not necessarily, to be honest. I've done quite a few this last few weeks mm -hmm. with these, and I haven't. But I am using the heartfelt flower shaping paper, which is it's got thick fibers that are really really close right. together which means that when you put them through the put that paper through the mold it will um kind of it breaks down the fiber that's what we're doing when we're putting it in the mold mm -hmm. okay so then you're going to take the top half right you've got your two feet on one side and the one on the top and that just basically will sandwich it sandwich it together indeed and hold that in there so I'm using the platinum, so all I need is these two plates. It's quite yep. simple. Yep. But again, on Heartfelt's um, website, it will give you a list of all the different mm -hmm. um, combinations that you will need for your particular machine. Lovely. But this just saves you a lot of time and effort with your arm, actually. It does. Yeah. I mean, just with one... Well, I'm going to take it through and then I'll bring it back. Okay. Okay. And you may find you need a shim because basically how it's working is the same as what it does when we do a die cut. Yes. It's the pressure. Mm -hmm. So you could put a paper shim or a card shim on top and that will give you more pressure. Lovely. However, you know right, your machine there, there. too, don't you? Yeah, so it's completely up to you. Hey, there we go. And look at this. Look at the difference though between the flat one there and then the lovely, if I turn that over, look at that difference. Completely okay. transformed. It is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. One flat and one really got some Look. dimension now. And I haven't touched my flower shaping tool yet. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is just put them down because I'm going to take the larger one mm -hmm. and we'll just pop some leaves through as well. Yeah, see, even that's so covered for you. The foliage. leaves, again, I'm going to do in exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little spritz as well. So I'm popping them this way up, but again, you can pop, do it either. Yeah, either or. I'll tell you what, we'll do that one that way, just to yeah. have a look at the difference. And we'll do that one that way as well. Because if you think about leaves, they don't always go in the same direction. Absolutely. The same as with your petals as well. And then we've got this larger one here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference in the sizes. Yeah. If you look down here, this is the larger one. It's big. It's huge. Yes. And then just pop that in there. And we'll pop that through in exactly the same way. So I, I love the mould, even down to the colour of it. <laughs> it's heartfelt, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think there's any heartfelt product that they've brought out that hasn't got pink on it. Right, really. Apart from the flower shaping mat, but then the tool that goes with it is, is, that is, pink? is pink. Yeah. pink. So we do have those on the show as well. Okay. So what I really liked about this collection was the fact that it's got everything. So if you're just starting out in mm. flower shaping, yep. the, the bundle is great because you've got everything. You've got your stamens, you've mm. got your moulds, you've got your flower shaping, you've got your paper in there as well. Yes. And of course, you've got your stamps and moulds, and then you've got that gorgeous box. Love it. Look, Look at, at these. Us. Gorgeous. Look. Yep. Perfect. So they look more realistic when you've popped it through in yeah, the moulds. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So this one. And it embosses fantastically. It's done upside down. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So it's slightly different. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just pop that to one side there. Okay. And this is the fun bit as well, because I do love spending time shaping the flowers. Mm -hmm. So as much as I love my mould, I love this part of it as yeah. well, because especially with these ones, because there's so many different ways you can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, right, what am I going to do with this one? So I'll tell you what, we're going to start off with a bud. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up and then another flower shape until I know this is cheating a little bit because I haven't because you can change your tips yeah that's good okay but just for quickness 
I've got my smaller one here. Uh, so no. what I'm doing is I'm just bringing my flower shaping tool down mm -hmm. each petal. Now I've been trying not to say anything, <laughs> but um, the one day special, the I Want It All, has now sold out, n um, technically sold out, all the stock is in baskets, Okay. so do check out. Now we have still got the essentials for now, details coming onto the screen, and we have still got some individual elements apart from the the the, the die that makes the uh, yeah, lovely the, gift the, box. The individual die box is sold out. So. If you're thinking, oh, I don't know whether they're going to get more stock. Right. We really, really don't. That is the honest truth. Because everybody's in bed in the States. <laughs> <laughs> normally, well, normally I could say to you, yes, we've got lots more to put on. Yeah. But this has gone phenomenally well. Yeah. We didn't realise. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, so just very quickly then, if you want to see the essentials, what you get here is your 12 by 12 uh, wonderful paper pad. And then you've also got the um, stamps and dies, the small wild rose to go with it. Okay, so that's what we've got for now. So that, so if you wanted to, and you're just thinking, oh, I want to make some of those flowers, Nikki. What do I do? What do I do? If you go for the essentials, then you could pop the small mould in. And that will give you your smaller flowers. Yeah. So because I was too busy watching you... I think my glue dried. Oh, sorry. But what I'm doing, look, <laughs> is I'm bringing those petals up. <coughs> Do excuse me. And I created a bud. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? And then because you've got that green on the outside, look, it's made it really, really realistic as well. Yeah. And it's very easy because most of the work's been done by the mould. Indeed. So again, this is from the smaller one. So I'm going to do, in actual fact, no, we won't. We'll do it this way. So you could pop a couple around there mm. and make a, a thicker bud, if yeah, that makes nice. sense, it's a fuller just... bud. But we will just pop that in the centre, like that, and then put this one upside down. Mm. As I say, there's so many different combinations. Yeah. And this is why it's important as well to add a bit of colour on the outside. Yes, otherwise you don't want it white. Yeah. But and it just, just again makes it look um, more realistic, I think. Pop that in there. Mm -hmm. So completely different to the flower that I made yesterday. Mm. Gorgeous. And that's it. But you could just keep going. You could make that as full as you like. Mm. So on the bigger one, what you could do, a very, very easy, if you wanted to just make a really easy flower. I kind of think when you just put the two together, it looks a bit like a water lily. Oh, what a lovely idea. So just pop that in there. Yeah. Hold that together. Bring those petals up. And you can see how crisp the paper's gone as well. Yes. So what you can do is you can actually manipulate the petals just to bring those up. But then I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh, I've got this one here. So I might as well add another one. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do with this one, just roll your shaping tool you can see it, the, the mould's done the most of the work. Yeah. But now I'm just bringing that in. And this will be like a kind of part open bud. I'll pop that on there. And you can see how pretty that is now it's in the so centre pretty. look with that green. You it's can like even a really wear that. nice green. You can wear that as a little brooch, actually. You could make brooches. Nice you can make um, hair... Um, is it they're called fascinators? Yeah, fascinators. Yeah, fascinators. Yeah. Then I'm going to pop my pokey tool, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go. Uh, now this is the bit where it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. So okay. what I'm doing is I'm doing a little bit of a mixture. So we've got. I tell you what, I'm going to go with this colour. I think. So you could, if you wanted, just pop one of those in the middle, mm -hmm. like that. That looks pretty, And it's gorgeous, it? isn't it? But I know we had some of these stamens on the other week. Ah, so they might still be on the website. So they, yeah. If not, there may be some others that we have available. Okay. But we had them on, I think it was on the Hydrangea shows. So I'm just cutting there. Now, normally I would tape them mm -hmm. with my um, florist tape. Yeah. However, I don't have it with me. So I'm going to do... Improvise. Improvise just a bit of glue and then very quickly just add a few around there. And the only thing with that glue is it goes off pretty quick. 
but it's fine because I'm just going to add a bit more. And then just gently rubbing down with my finger. Not too hard because it's going to burn me. I was going to say, you've got asbestos <laughs> fingers. Wow. I'm Be so used to home. it now. I really mm -hmm. am. But that's the way of doing it if you don't have mm. any florist tape. Okay. But very that easy. Hot, that bit. Bless you. Very easy to get hold of some yeah. florist tape so as well. So mix and match your stamens up to create lots of different flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that one's come off. That's very pretty doing it that way with the little Just stamens. Add in a few around the edge. Yeah. Try not to make it too bulky because I'm going to have to make. Yeah, it's got to fit through the flower. That's going to be hot. There we go. I'll stop there because I'll just <laughs> keep going. As I say, all depending on what type of flower you want mm -hmm. to create. So I'll just pop that over there. Okay, very pretty. Whilst I pop this in. Mm -hmm. So now I need, actually, I've got to bring it back and put them down there. I need to make a bigger hole now. I was so say, to make yeah. a bigger hole, yeah. I'm just at making a few around that one that I've just done. Mm -hmm. And if it isn't big enough, I'll tell you what, I'll take a knife. Got a knife just do a little score, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, bring your knife, and to be honest, I just kind of twizzle it around. There you go. And then, just take a little bit of that off. You could make your own corsages. That would be beautiful, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. So and the thing pretty. is, you can make and sell as many as you like, as long as you're physically making something. It doesn't yeah. have to be a card, like you say, mm -hmm. it could be corsages. Oh, look no. at that. Isn't that so pretty? Absolutely love them. So where's the smaller one that we did? There we go. Look at that and the little rosebud. That's beautiful. I mean, you literally could even put these in a vase, you know, with, with the yeah. with the Yeah, because your stamens have got the wires on them yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. And you can shape those too. Ah, oh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Uh, so on screen, we have got the essentials uh, where you're getting the uh, paper pad and the smaller wild rose with the dye and the um, stamps to match. Uh, it does have a freedom discount as you can see and of course because it's got a freedom discount maybe you're new to us you don't know what that's all about. Here is Janice to tell you more. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family if you are just joining us the one day special has been a phenomenal success it's sold out we don't know if we can get any more uh, but what we do have as a little contingency in the meantime is your essentials collection so you've got that wonderful paper pad in fact, I'm just going to go and grab it. Wonderful paper pad. And you've got the uh, stamps and dies that match together. And that's the small wild rose. Now, I think it's worth having another flick through this paper pad because it's really pretty. It is, of course, double-sided. 
I mean, actually, uh, Nikki's right that this is more of a, um, a paper kit because you've got toppers in there. I mean, look, that's four cards in, in one go if you chop them up too. There's your double-sided. Just look at that lovely green, rich colour. And then another one where they've got the cottage and we've got those um, beautiful, you can see the windows and the archway. And again, look at those wonderful colours of the pinks and the greens. They're really divine. You can see why everybody really, really likes this kit. Love that um, uh, almost tartan effect. And of course, oh, and we've got borders, little borders down there that you can cut up. And then uh, continuing, let's turn this around. Now, the dies will um, match these, which is wonderful. I'm loving that. I love that you can die cut part of the paper pad. Now, the, because of the, um, it's the smaller ones in the essentials, so it's this page that you'll be able to die cut. Let's turn this around. Oh, such a soft pink. And then you've got the stripes there. Let's turn that around. Love that one. That's one of my favorites. This is great for a, uh, obviously, scrapbooking page as it is your 12 by 12. Let's turn this around. Gorgeous. Now, while you're looking at the paper pad, you can actually get a second one if you want because it is your consumables. So you'll find this now at the bottom of your screen for $17.99 if you do want another. I mean, just look at that sheet. That is divine. Well worth having an extra one if you can stretch to it. Still going with all of these wonderful sheets. Oh, and then, of course, look, you've got your tags that you can cut out. There's the cottage, all those lovely images there. Uh, so it's a really beautiful paper pad, and you've got the roses. Now, let's show you some finished samples. Aren't these divine? They're not going to date, are they? Flowers, all sorts of occasions, whether it's birthdays, Mother's Day. Oh, when is that, actually? I'm sure it's in March. Maybe it's the 22nd, possibly. Um, so it was really lovely. I mean, just look at these flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? With your uh, essentials bundles, then, it does have a freedom discount. We've taken it to £42.27. Oh, what are we going to do? 70% of the stock of this has now gone. You can also spread the cost on FlexiBuy. Uh, two payments of, if you're a Freedom member, two payments of £21.14 and your postage is covered. 290388 is the item number. The website, we don't have a lot left. We've got a few individuals, a few individuals, but not the die to make that gorgeous gift box. Okay, we've also now sold out, what is this individually, of the small rose die set you can only get that in the essentials now we have got some more of the paper pads if you want to go for those and a few other individuals oh and we've got the flower shaping kit too and the um, foam that I think Nikki's gonna have a little play with too and storage I don't think we've got any daubers no nope, we don't that's just been confirmed lots and lots of sellouts on the show marvelous right I like this because you can colour it as well can't you Yes, you yeah. can, yeah. Mm. So this is the Heartfelt mm. Flower Shaping Foam. Mm. Yep. It is amazing stuff. Mm. Great fun to work with, and you can create so many different flowers with it. Yeah. Especially with these dyes. So mm. the really other nice thing about it is you can do more than one layer. Okay. I think yesterday I did five. And that's four. That would be five, wouldn't yeah. it? So I just need two. So on that one, we'll do this one. Can you stamp onto okay. it too? You can stamp onto it. Okay. So you would need a permanent ink, so either a stays on or your archival. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on. That might be too many. I think I might have more than five now, being greedy. <laughs> okay. Try four. There's the f I think that that's four? five. One, oh, is it still? Two. Three, four. It's four. We'll stick with four. We'll, see, we'll give it a go. Okay. So I'm going to pop that on the die cutting machine, but I do need my base plate now. Mm -hmm. And then exactly the same with your larger one. So we'll do a large one as well. Because the, the smaller one's sold out, hasn't it? So The actual die. Right, I'm going to individually be really... But the small ones are still in the essentials kit. Oh, yes, so of course they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we've got the leaves as well, so we'll do 
Oh, how many leaves shall we do? We'll do four leaves. Okay. All in one, like that. You can tape it down as well, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be brave today. Go for it. Because I can't see my tape anywhere. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that, that through. Move, I don't think. Just move my glue gun out of the way. Yep. And that will die cut exactly the same way as it would do as though that was paper. Excellent. Okay, I'm just going to bring that back. Roses are my favourite flowers. Like that. Mm. So there's one. Let's see if it's done it. Three. So as I say, you can stamp yeah. as well. It's your, you know, your preferred taste. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, okay. The small 3D shaping mould has also sold out individually now. I think that's this one, isn't it? It is. That's yeah. the smaller one. That one has gone. Thank you for your purchases and Great. enjoy. It's, I can't wait to see what everyone creates yeah. with these. It's lovely to, you know, have all those followers and you can share it on social media mm. and on Instagram and everywhere else that we do. So just pop all those over. I won't colour them all. I won't be, but we'll do a few. Yep. So we'll do the larger one. Okay. And these are fine to put on um, <coughs> cards too, aren't they? Oh yes, yeah. you can use them on cards. In actual fact, that deep burgundy ah, one. Oh look at this! Is that is has nice. Been done. Oh, and it's so tactile. I like the feel it of it. It is. The foam. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. So I'll use lovely. that one and that one. Okay, right. I'm happy. So very, very easy to colour. And to be perfectly honest, mm -hmm. I, you know, although you could use your oxides with it, I find the darker colours better and I usually go for an archival. Your memento would work as well, but because that's more, uh, the archival is a permanent ink, yeah. it, would, it tends to rub off on your fingers. Oh. So you lose a lot of the colour and right. the depth of the colour. Okay. So I'm just going to go in with my dark pink and I'm just going to do the edges okay just go and again I'm not being um, precise with this mm -hmm. just using that door but in actual fact if you wanted you could go straight in nice and rich with your with your ink if it's a small pad like this yeah okay so we'll do that because it's quicker and this will dry but what I find is which is amazing is as you dry it and you're heating it because we're going to heat it in a second okay it goes paler so if you're wanting a pale pink go for a darker pink first mm -hmm. because it will go paler right Good I don't bit know of why advice. I don't know whether it's because it as you heat it it's seeping into the foam yeah oh, no, no, that's, not that's 100 percent sure on that one yeah so again look how easy that is I really don't worry too much about oh look I've got a bit down there it's gonna it's gonna ruin it it isn't going to ruin it at okay. all I bet you when you received this you were so <sighs> excited to get this set well do you know I get it about six weeks before I launch yeah but I know what's coming out probably three four four months in advance okay but I've had to be really good because I can't touch it because yeah I'm working on you know, so like the next one that's coming out, I've already got that. Right. I've had a quick look, but I'm not going to because I get too tempted mm -hmm. and then I end up playing far too much. And But look at that. That's fine. Don't worry about it being sort of a line there because it isn't going to matter. Nope. Okay, what you do need to do, though, because you've done several layers, you might have just a little bit of foam stuck around the edge. Mm -hmm. So we're going to... Now, with your foam, can we also get our inks on it? As in our spray inks or... You yes. Would... Oh, you can. But obviously you have to think that um, it's wet. Okay. So you'd have to dry it off. Okay. And you would lose, a lot again, a lot of the colour as well. But it's nice that you're getting the white sheets because then you've got choice on whatever colour you want You can add any colour then, can't you? Yeah. But again, with this... What I will do in a second. I've only got the dark green. We'll put them there. Mm -hmm. I've only got. Oh, I tell you what. We'll go with the olive. Oh, that's nice. I think it's a bigger pad. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Oh, I'm not sure if I like that colour. To be fair, <laughs> turn it over. I don't like that one. <laughs> don't like that colour at all. I do love the colour. Don't get me wrong, but not on the foam. Okay, I want to go enough. for a bit of a brighter. And even this, I don't think. Oh, it's, oh, a, no, bit, that one's it's nice. a bit better. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm going all the way down. And then I'm going to, just in the center, I'll probably use my dauber on this. Okay. The same as what I did with the paper. Mm. Just adding a bit of green. Again, I'm not being, where is the paper? I'm a little bit more um, precise. Yeah. I think the foam is a lot more forgiving. I'm interested about the heating aspect, okay. so this will be good to see. And again on the outer edge. Does it help it curl or something? It does. Ah. It's all done with the heat. Right. And you, I'm using my heat gun, but you can use an iron. Oh, really? There's really? lots and lots of techniques on social media. Okay. Um, if you go on the video channel mm -hmm. and just put foam, foam flowers, there are hundreds and hundreds. And I have to say, they are absolutely amazing. Really nice. So I'm obviously doing it live on air. Mm -hmm. Just add that bit of colour there and a little bit on this one. Yeah, very effective this. So it looks really messy. I Don't know it worry. does, but do not worry. This is something, to be fair, you get the children involved in, oh, and the children yeah. would love to do this. Mm -hmm. Obviously not with a hot iron, and you would have to supervise, yes, supervise. depending on the age, but colouring wise, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it would be fine because they're going to love it. Mm -hmm. And then they are going to see what you're going to create. So okay. taking my flower mat there, I right. don't need it just at this moment. Move that out of the way, Bit of a tidy up. And then I'm going to take my heat gun, which is here. Mm. Lots of different ways you can do this. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I'm just going to wait for that to heat up a bit. If you do want the foam paper, it's just coming onto the screen. You get 20 sheets for 11.99. Here we go. So it shrinks Ooh. as well. So whatever flower it is you want, bear in mind it will be get smaller. Oh, this is fascinating. But to be perfectly honest, if I wanted to leave that, mm -hmm. if I wanted to leave that like that, oh, careful, <laughs> without doing anything to it. The, the leaves and petals have already folded. Mm -hmm. So because it's folded that way, yesterday I rolled it from the top. So I like to fold mine and roll. And then what you do is put it between your fingers and just do that. Okay. You can be really, really rough with it. And I will do on the other one. I'm just going to show you different ways that you can... Shape them. Maybe? Shape yeah. them and create gorgeous flowers. And then it starts to look more realistic again, doesn't it? Does, it does, because yeah. what I'm going to do in a second is just roll that one, open them up. Okay. So then I'm going to take my flower shaping tip and I'm going to, can you see how that's holding the yeah. shape there? Brilliant. But I've got nails on, so I have to be quite careful as <laughs> so I'll go through the foam. Okay. If you do want the flower shaping tools, we've got this also. And here it is. In fact, I I can show you. Is it this one for 9.99? Oh, sorry. I was going to say 29.99. Apologies. <laughs> Misheard you there. Um, and I love this because it's got the magnetic clasp too. And then when you open it up, you've got the actual mat. And then inside you've got your tool and then all the different ends. Oh, let me show you there. 10 interchangeable tips. Very good. It's a nice set for 29.99. So what I'm doing now is I'm just, I've got my tool in the center. Oh, you, you I'm just really being mean with around. it. Been, yeah, you could be really mean. Okay, so the next one, what you can do is you're gonna heat it up. Okay. I like to use my pokey tool because that will hold it in place. Look, you, you can kind of, if, if you use it directional, you can kind of get it to basically do what you want it to do. Yeah, you can but it does have it. a bit of a mind of its own. <laughs> and then, with this one, I'll just show you you can do really scrunch it up so you can concertina it okay like that yeah. and then 
to rotate your anger and out and then twist it and i have no idea what this is going to look like because i haven't done it on these have towers a play. but just have a play you're getting 20 sheets mm. of the foam i mean you've not gone through it yet as in no nope. ripped it could you see look see again how realistic does that petal look it's just adding that green as well i think that just so i've got a concertina it again and interestingly, now you've heated it, somehow the inks have blended They're better. They're blended, yeah. and yeah, that's why I said to you, don't, don't, don't mm. worry. Because once you heat it, I don't know what happens, it just all blends and... It's good. And you said you can even use the iron. How yes, would you, you can use that? an iron. So basically with an iron, so say this is the iron. Yeah. So you're going to have it on like a low to medium heat. Okay. And you would take your petal and then you just hold it and the heat off the mm. petal will do exactly okay. the same. Okay. There's lots of different techniques and the iron you can create lots of kind of different um, mm. shapes and um, designs but there is a fantastic um, Facebook group right? and they do absolutely do they? amazing flowers mm. with it. So again just twisting that around Look at that look. Pretty. And then again with this one. Yeah. So concertina it up. So basically, you can make anything with these. Mm. You could do your flower buds, your, your rose buds. You could create large flowers to put in the hair. Corsages, pop them on gift boxes. These They're are beautiful. great as well for um, cakes as well. Oh, right. Okay. I'm not sure if you could put the ink on cake though. No, you've got to watch mm, food safety. Would, yeah, full food safety, but yeah. But you can create, um, you know, uh, well, you decorate food boxes. Kind of, I mean, obviously, these aren't going to be edible, obviously. Yeah, I'm not mm. sure. It's just having a play, isn't it? Yeah. Doing a bit of research, as I say, on social media as well. But if you're loving your flower shaping and you love to make paper flowers, yeah. I can guarantee you are going to absolutely have so much fun with this. Mm. So, again, I'm going to bring that in... And then, oh, <laughs> pulled it out. And then that just brings that up. So I'll tell you what, let's yeah. have a look to see what that looks like. Yep, we'll go in there and then we'll do another one. Mm -hmm. I think we've got plenty of time, haven't we? Ten minutes. I love it when it starts to go. Good fun. Oh, I like the small bird. These are That's really, cute. really cute, aren't they? Yeah. But look how the colour changes as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see. It does actually change if I just mm. hold that there, move my finger out of the way. Yeah. It's weird. Mm. Very strange. And then with this one, we'll just roll. In the middle. And you don't have to. You could leave them as they are, just as they're heated as well. It's totally yeah, your it's choice. totally up to you. Mm -hmm. As I say, just be prepared to get ink on your fingers. Okay. We are now, at the moment, at 80% of the essential collection gone. You are getting the 12 by 12 beautiful paper pad. And then you've also got the small wild rose in heart and die form. £42.27. pence, Or you can spread the cost. That's on Freedom, by the way, that £42.27. 290388 is your item number. And that is the only way with that, the essentials kit to get the small uh, dies. Small oh, die. No, the mold. Is it the mould? No, the mould sold, but the, isn't the die? Yes. The die, yeah. That's it. And to be honest, the die and the stamps work together. They so do. They do. Unless you want to fussy cut out the, um, mm -hmm. the flowers. I think Heartfelt are going to get a shock this morning. I know, I know. They got a shock last night when I emailed them after my last show. Look at that. Look how deep that one's mm. gone. And oh. then I just gently, because I want to make this into a bud. Oh, it'd be lovely. And what happens to the leaves? Okay. Oh, let's have a look at the leaves. Yeah, that would be nice. I forgot the leaves, to be honest. <laughs> just roll that round yep. in my fingers. And then we'll glue them together in a second, and then that's where they really do come to, yeah. come to life. 
So say, don't be afraid. Yeah. You're not going to hurt it. You're not going to harm it. You can um, stretch it. You can pull it. You can... I mean, I'm seeing it's so durable. It's lovely to the touch as well. It's like and as I say, there thing. are lots of other things you can do. So with your leaf, mm -hmm. you can use your ball tool and you're just going to... Quite hard. Yeah. You know, don't be as I say, don't be afraid. And you're just going to come down. Yes, you can be very mean with this product. <laughs> And you can stretch it. Do you see how that's stretched? Yeah. That's your fat. We'll do it that way. Oh, very effective. Lovely little curled autumn leaf. It is. Look at that. Yeah. Look. That looks really good. But it's so, f um, I don't know, it's, it's like marshmallows. It's so fluffy. Yeah, it's a good way to describe it. If you've not ever touched it before, it is it's just so nice it's very tactile so now I'm going to glue them together mm -hmm. now with these sheets you are getting 20 of them <coughs> for 11.99 six seven five four two four is your item number and then going down in sizes I'm going to add them all okay so using my glue gun oh look at that mm. How pretty that and real gorgeous. Does that Do you look? know? Yeah. I'm actually going to keep that like that. Okay. I'm not going to spoil it. So I'm going to take one of the stamens and let's add some glitter to it. Oh, yeah. So I will take a clear glue, which I've left open overnight. Mm, is it going to be all right? Should be fine. Okay. She says, there it is. There it is. Coming out. So just smothering it. That stamen. Glittery, love it. Glue. And then I would probably say wait until it's dried as well before you pop it in your flower. Oh, look at that. It's crystal coated now. But you've still got that colour coming through? Yes. And then, oh, we need a hole. And just pop your hole through. Mm -hmm. Take your and you can glitter your flower as well yeah oh look at that and then is. once you've done it you can still go in and manipulate some of those flowers mm. as well I'm um, sorry the petals if you want to change them love that I think yeah if you have some black stamens as well around there I'm thinking a bit like a um, oh what's the climbing flowers lots and lots of different colors mm. Oh, oh, I can't think. I'm not thinking of a camellia. Yes, I see. Clematis. Clematis, clematis. I'm thinking of clematis coming? flower. Yeah. I oh. don't know. Are you seeing that? Yeah. I think gorgeous. the director is seeing that. <laughs> yeah, he is indeed. And then just for this small one, mm -hmm. we'll just do a tiny bud. The buds are okay. my favourite. They're just too cute. Probably would have added a couple more petals, to be honest. Yeah. But because you could glue that together really quite tight if you wanted in exactly the same way as you would if it was paper yeah so i'd glue each petal and make a bud but we will just let's have a look to see what this looks like hmm. and then i'm just going to take that small end oh look at that oh it's pretty look too cute There you have a smaller flower and you could put some small stamens in there. Yeah. It's tiny, it's gorgeous. Exactly the same flowers mm. as those um, yeah, the paper stamps ones. and dies, sorry. Amazing. Lovely. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. We have got just a few more minutes to um, show you what we have left, basically. <laughs> uh, I, I have no idea what's going to happen at one o'clock. We'll see if we can get in touch with Heartfelt in the meantime. But f fingers crossed, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, you can also get some of the add-ons that we've got if you're in the need for some stamp and die storage. I love the box. I adore the storage binders. They always look so professional. And I know a lot of viewers will get a box for each uh, collection that comes out. 
Apologies at the moment, we don't have any more daubers either. This is then what we have left. Um, I know, <laughs> just about. Um, so I'll have another flick through the paper pad, shall I? Shall I? Yes, yeah, so let's have a look at the paper pad. We have paper pads left, yeah. or paper kit as I like to call them. So you've got lots of different designs in here. Of course, following on from that wild rose theme, mm. you've got beautiful, beautiful colours in here. I love them. Yeah, absolutely stunning, aren't they? And like you said, Mother's Day coming up. Yes. My mum would absolutely love perfect like paper this. pad for that. So you have got your paper that um, obviously your dies will coordinate, but they, in in the essentials collection, you are only getting the small stamp and die. Yes. So if you want the large ones, you would have to pop them in your basket separately. Okay. Love it. I, lo I love that those stripes. I just think that I just the colourways are gorgeous. The thing is, they're not just block colours no. either. You've got lots of um, damasks going through their swirls. Ooh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> nearly dropped that then. Um, love that. Great for scrapbooking. Great for your mini albums. Yeah, nice. I do have a mini album, a album show oh. coming up for oh. Heartfelt on the 11th of March. Oh, good to know. It's just a one-off show. Some of the 8x8 eight eight albums. So, right, wonderful. Make do sure tune in, in because this would make an amazing album, I think. It would, wouldn't it? Look how pretty that is. Then you're getting uh, also, along with the paper pad, you have got the small Wild Rose stamp and die set. This also has a freedom discount. It's 4227 or it is on Flexi by 2 290388. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks, I might be back at one. Might be. It's been a really <laughs> fabulous you. launch. We'll see you right after this break. Coming up next, wait for this hour. Thomas Kincaid, can't wait. Then we've got Totally Patched and the Sentimentally Yours Weekend Wow. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
Hello. Well, I've been looking forward to this hour. I really, really have. I hope you're all sitting comfortably with your teas, your coffees, because we've got a fantastic hour ahead. Now, I'm stood next to the most beautiful painting or a print of a painting here from Thomas Kincaid himself. And this is actually a prize for a competition we've been running on Facebook. We are going to be announcing the winner of the, of the prize, of course, during this hour. But, of course, we have got to meet... The brother of Thomas Kincaid himself, Pat Kincaid, is here in the studio. We're going to ask him all sorts of questions. So let's get on with this hour. I cannot wait for what we've got ahead. We're going to get, go and meet Pat in a little while. Hello, Pat. Catherine? Catherine? Hello. Catherine. <laughs> Is it true what they have told me about you? I don't know what they told you. They said that you're a wonderful person and the greatest host ever. Oh, did they really say that? <laughs> no. no but... I didn't think they did. I didn't think they did. <laughs> but I felt it in my heart as soon as I saw you. I said, oh, my God. Every bit of it is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> my intuitions, they're, they're never wrong. <laughs> I should be ordering a, a glass of wine or something. Well, uh, I got the coming and a pizza as well, so it'll, it'll be an interesting show, <laughs> folks. That's all. That's it all certainly I'm will. <laughs> no, actually, it's an honour, actually, to be presenting this show because, of course, the artwork of Thomas Kincaid, who was your brother, of course. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some amazing products to show you, some beautiful prints. Tell everyone about Thomas himself, because I'm sure most people out there know exactly who he was, but for anyone that doesn't know, please tell us who Thomas Well, I'm was. just uh, very excited to be here in uh, the UK. It just Tom loved coming here to paint, but he uh, is known most for being what's the painter of light. Yeah. And what he does is he paints in a luminous style. What that means specifically is that when you isolate the painting when you put a spotlight on it and you lower the ambient light the room light yeah and then you play with the spotlight on it the internal colors of the painting begin to glow it's truly a miraculous uh, experience when you first see it we call it the Kincaid ooh ah because when you lower it people go ooh ah and then immediately they say do it again and you lower the lights again it's just an absolutely wonderful fun thing to do with your paintings and for Tom that uh, uh, capacity to show internal light uh, that glow was a, a message for him. He, he was, was a man of faith, and uh, for him, the internal glow was something that reached the human spirit. And oh. he wanted to, through his painting, so much to bring peace and happiness and joy uh, to the world. And from all accounts, from all the wonderful collectors that we have in the States and around the world, yeah. he has. He certainly has. In fact, and just to mention as well, if anybody's got any questions for Pat, please do email into the studio. Or Catherine. Because she's interesting, yes. <laughs> i got to say. I, I can't get over the fact. <laughs> studio at chanda.com and of course we are going live on Facebook as well at the moment uh, which is fantastic so leave your comments there as well Pat I've got to ask when did Tom start painting how old was he you know that, that's a, 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 a neat question because I got to say my first remembrances of Tom he was calling himself an artist my dad made this little coffee table and Tom sort of uh, usurped it took it as his own and he put a towel on it and he called it his studio and he put out his crayons and he put out his watercolors and he put out all of his little painting supplies and he said that he was going to uh, be a professional artist now uh, again I would say you know Tom you're you know eight years old lighten up you know you can come play kickball with me occasionally <laughs> but you know, he said no I, I gotta practice I, I'm an artist and he just never wavered in that vision for himself. Now, he spent his time in the desert. I mean, it wasn't an easy childhood. We were very poor growing up. Okay. And truthfully, even as a, a, a young artist, he, he struggled. He used to uh, deliver pizzas off the back of his motorcycle really? in order to support himself. Yeah, and it's crazy. And he basically, the food that he got was any leftover pizzas that nobody picked up. And he'd buy a sack of potatoes every month, and he'd cook them all, oh. eat one potato a day in, in order to survive. He just didn't have the family means to support him. But he had this vision of himself as an artist from day one. And, you know, again, whatever uh, your, your beliefs are, I just, my personal uh, feeling is that there was a hand of providence in his, yeah. uh, his uh, destiny in life, and he fulfilled that destiny, and that was to bring light to the world through his art. Oh, well... Of course, the paintings from Thomas Kincaid himself, so collectible. There's many collectors mm -hmm. out there worldwide. And this is your chance, of course, during this hour and 
beyond as well uh, to of course purchase prints from Thomas himself we are going to be seeing lots of beautiful prints but I want to ask Pat we've got a certain style within the studio today mm -hmm. but it goes much further than that doesn't it with Thomas what sort of style would you say was his favorite where did he start how did he develop oh, that's that's an interesting question too you know we have a vault uh, in, in the company and in that vault there's some 7,000 artifacts from Tom's history as an artist and across that history, he basically dabbled in everything. He painted in abstract surrealism, uh, impressionism, you name it. He, he experimented with it. What he eventually lighted on was realism, and he started out as just a fabulous landscape uh, uh, painter, but then that transitioned into romantic realism. Yeah. Tom always said, it, it's not my job to paint what's there. I, I, I'm here to paint what should be there. And he wanted to that. create these little worlds where people could escape. You know, Tom used to call his paintings silent messengers in the home. And, you know, when you hang a painting on the wall, you make a commitment to yeah. it. You know, a book you read, you love, it's a great book. Yeah. But you put the book away and you put it back on the shelf. Yeah. A, a television show you watch and it makes you smile and you enjoy it and what have you. But eventually that show ends and you can go about your business. But when you hang a painting on the wall every day, every day, even if you glance at it for a moment, it's going to have an impact on you. It, 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 it's, a, it's a situation where this particular form of art becomes so important to the house, that it transitions the house into a home. Yes. And I, I remember as a kid, and, and think back, I mean, one of the, you think about the early houses you grew up in. The first thing I think about is, well, I remember the painting here, and my mother used to love Rembrandt, and she had all these little dime store copies of Rembrandt paintings around yeah. the house, and Rembrandt was a luminist. He painted on the human face as opposed to the, 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 the natural landscape, but nonetheless he, he dabbled in light and shadow in order to uh, create his effect. Well again, Tom became a luminous, so what th that suggests to me is what he said is true, that the art you hang in the home is going to impact you every Definitely. day in very real ways. And if you hang art that makes you happy, that has uh, themes of romance and family and patriotism and faith and adventure and all those things that make life worthwhile, those are the sorts of things you're going to dwell on. They certainly are. And I've got to ask you as well, Pat, we know that Thomas Kincaid is so collectible. It's worldwide. Mm -hmm. there, it's not just the paintings as well. We've seen items brought out in oh, the craft yeah, industry before, in cross-stitch and various mm -hmm. other things as well. Lots of different things, jigsaws as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. um, why, do you think, why do you think Thomas's work became so collectible? Well, there's a variety of reasons for it. I mean, one was his intent. I mean, he wanted his art to be accessible. I mean, a lot of people, you know, say, well, Tom has his art on a lot of things. So what does that mean in terms of the art? Well, it means that he's doing his job as an artist. Yeah. An artist is supposed to communicate. Now, he could paint an original painting, and he could put it in a museum someplace, and museums have his work. Yeah. And that's wonderful, the people that get access to that museum and visit it, maybe a few hundred thousand people a year get to see his painting. But Tom, through a single publication, can reach millions of people. Of and that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to have a cultural social impact that went beyond simple museum availability. Yeah. So part of it was just the intent of getting the art out there. But beyond that, it resonates with people. It truly does. I think does. That, that is the point. We yeah. live in chaotic lives. We, yeah. we, we all do. I mean, yeah. you, I walk outside the store and I'm going to be bombarded with the news. <laughs> and the yeah. news is going to be, you know, good or bad or whatever, but it's always going to be chaos. There's things going on and, you know, p things to worry yeah. about and so on and so forth. You don't need that all the time. You certainly don't. What, what Tom wanted to do is create little vacations that you could hang on the wall, oh, that you can, that. you can vacations. step back for a moment and, you know, the idea of just exhaling. Even if it's just for a minute each day, you walk in front of your Kincaid painting, and I swear, we get letters all yeah. the time. It's going to make your good times better, and it's going to make your bad times good. And that's just the truth. It's just the truth. So I could sit and chat to you for hours and hours and hours. Pat. Well, we're going to get a beer later and do that. We, we need, I've got lots of questions <laughs> to ask you. But now we've got to look, of course, at the paintings. So the prints of the paintings, of course, from Thomas Kincaid. Uh, we've got so much to show you in this hour as well. We've got lots more questions to ask as well. But just take a look at this. Oh, I really could just keep chatting, honestly. Uh, now that I've got to ask you, Pat, about this. Now, this is, of course, a beautiful print from one of Thomas's mm -hmm. pieces of work. This is actually going to be the giveaway to our competition. We will announce so the winner happy. later on. Now, this, the name of this is Stepping Stone Stepping Cottage. Stepping Stone Cottage, yeah, absolutely. Just a beautiful piece. That, 
Tom painted in metaphor. And for him, we all have obstacles in life. Yeah. We do. And the question becomes, well, how do we get through those obstacles? Well, if you notice in this little river, the obstacle, there's stepping stones. That's the name of the, the, the piece, Stepping Stone Cottage. What those stepping stones represent is you being able to overcome challenges. Oh, a step at a time. Yes. We can all, all those things that we're talking about, yeah. the, the chaos that we face, the, the, whatever it is, financial troubles, family yeah. troubles, we all have them in life. We just do. It's the nature of life. But Tom's vision was that with steadfastness, with one step at a time, you'll be able to cross those obstacles. And that's the message of this painting. Yes. So it, it's beyond the beautiful aesthetic. I mean, I love my brother's work. I really do. I, I have it all over my home. And the flowers are beautiful. The luminous effect is absolutely wonderful. Again, I get, keep getting back to that, but folks, get this home, put it on the wall, and if you spotlight it, it's going to blow your mind, the changes that you see in terms of the just the simple aesthetic of the piece. But more important in certain ways is the message of the painting. And this Definitely. message is the idea that you can overcome obstacles in life. I love that. I really, really do. Well, isn't this beautiful? It's absolutely incredible. Would you make a suggestion to everybody then, if they're purchasing from the show today, to try and create that spotlight effect in their home? Either can get a light fixed mm -hmm. above the picture, they choose carefully where they're going to put the picture. Um, it, it needs to be in the right place. I, I love it when folks do that because they really get to play with the paintings. I, I guarantee uh, uh, ladies, your husbands are going to get tied to this painting, especially because there's a lot of re, uh, dimmers on remotes now, so yeah. you can sit on the couch and have it go up now but I also want to say that this art fits anywhere yes it really does and the natural light of the room will go up and down with the course of a day Very true. and even with that ambient light going up and down you're going to see changes in mood in the painting so the spotlight really accentuates it's a lot of fun if you can get that done but if you can't don't worry about it because you're going to enjoy it anyway the 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 lighting of the room the the night and day that you'll experience of yeah. artificial light to natural light will change the feel will change the glow of this painting it's going to surprise you i know it, it's hard to believe people say well there's something gimmicky about it is there fluorescent light in it no, no. Tom just understood juxtaposing colors. He understood overlaying oil, and that saturates visible light in certain ways. More than a physicist, he understood. I mean, I, I used to sit in the studio with Tom and say, Tom, how do you do this? I don't quite get it. And he would explain the physics of light to me. But ultimately, it came down to the Keebler elves. I mean, they just came in and they'd put fairy dust all over them, magic occurred. <laughs> I don't, as, far as, I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, at I least. I need to ask questions about <laughs> how, how this light is created a little bit later on. But I want to ask something else as well, Pat. There are hidden details in the paintings, yeah. one of them being the letter N. Can yes. you tell us about that? Why yeah. that's there and what that represents? That, that, that's a lot of fun. For you know, Kincaid collectors, this has become an absolute fixation and fascination for them. Tom's wife is named Nanette. Okay. And they were childhood sweethearts. It's just the perfect story of romance. And they, you know, they found each other. They never left each other's sides. And Tom recognized that Nanette had as much to do with building the painter of light and having uh, people have access to these paintings yeah. as he did. Now, he is going to be remembered because of his position in art history and so on and so forth. But for Tom, it was so important that people recognize the relationship that Nanette was there anchoring him and helping him in every way possible in order to have this worldwide audience, this worldwide effect that he had. So for Tom, hiding ends in the painting is a tribute to Nanette's contribution to his life as a painter. And what's fun and what absolutely drives um, uh, collectors crazy is they look we're just looking <laughs> look, right you start there, look. looking for ends we've found the end in this yeah. picture you know that's part of the fun of it as well isn't yeah. it not only can you be you know holding one of these in your own home collecting these items of course you've got the fun of looking for these mm -hmm. as well now there is another one I believe in this particular painting. yeah if, if you go by the oil signature there's a, a little it. number and um, that number tells you how many ends are in any given painting Right, we, oh, there it is, there's another one there, look. Oh, look, on the On the roof. On the roof, that is so clever. It's fun, and, and it, there's a very practical point for for Tom, too. Tom wanted people to engage and re-engage in his art. Yeah. So, I mean, outside of being pretty, but, you know, eventually you just sort of 
you, you have a tendency to become complacent about yeah. things. But these little details allow people to look and scan, and it causes them to because they become obsessive. I get letters from people saying, Pat, you should write the big book of ends and go through every <laughs> painting and show where every end is. And it's like, if, if I did that, I'd, I'd put a bullet in my head. Because basically, it's a, it's a hard thing to find the ends. But you'll, you'll become obsessed with your painting and your ends, and you'll keep on looking and looking and looking. You really will. You really I've will. been scouring that. And, and look and see if and I can find it. He also did a lot of other things. If sometimes you look in the clouds of his painting, you yeah. see animals there. Or you yes. look in the trees or in the water, there'll be references to one thing or another. Oh, he just wow. had a lot of fun with it. I'll tell you one that absolutely makes me laugh. He painted uh, a painting of the uh, of Big Ben of the Thames, the river. And he put a periscope coming down the thing. Well, submarines didn't go up and down the river. But Tom, you know, you don't, you don't recognize it, but being an artist is a relatively lonely profession. Uh. You, you, you sit in your, your, your studio a lot. Your time. So Tom did things to amuse himself. So Tom t sometimes he just hid these oddities in his painting just to make himself laugh. But ultimately, as a collector, you'll enjoy finding them, and it'll make you laugh, of too. Of course, of course. And of course, with every print that is purchased, you do get the Certificate of Authenticity. Mm -hmm. You can see this one on the back of this frame here as well. And a little bit of wording about the painting as well, mm -hmm. the name of the painting, artist of notes, course, yeah. the artist number, yes. Beautiful uh, certificate there as well. I mean, you, you need that, don't it you? Is, because it, it absolutely. if it's a collector's item, if it's something so important mm -hmm. as Thomas Kincaid, it, it is. you need to know well, which I, is from that original artwork. I can't tell you how many times we've heard these very sad stories of people being taken advantage of. Yeah. You know, that uh, there's a lot of people that do knockoff versions and, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. And you go on the web and you sometimes find these things, oh, it's yeah. a great deal. No, it's not a great deal. What it is is not Thomas Kincaid. With that certificate through this venue, yeah. you're getting not only Thomas Kincaid content, but Thomas Kincaid quality. This is heirloom quality art. You're going to be able to hang this in your house. And like I said, as kids growing up, you remember the art in your home. Well, you'll be able to pass this to your children. Definitely. Your children will be able to pass it to their children. It, it, you're creating a family tradition. It goes beyond simply having a piece of art to hang. What you have is a family focus. All of you are going to enjoy it. All of you will talk about it. All of you will look for the ends or find little discoveries or notice the light changing and having the, the effect of the glow go up and down in the painting. It's just fun. Oh, wow. Oh, and that certificate, just incredible. that certificate suggests that you'll have that across time. Of course. Well, if you would like Stepping Stone Cottage, that's the one that you're seeing right here, of course. It's the print with the frame, the frame that's in it, which is so elegant as well. There you can see the details on the screen. Item number 986792. Now you have, of course, got, it's a 9 by 12 inch print this one of course in that beautiful frame and I've got to say you can see the mount there as well you've got that linen effect going around there as well you've got the certificate on the back there as well the saving on this particular print is 280 pounds now we can offer a flexi buy option for you as well so let's just have a look at the flexi buy details again two payments of 92 pounds and 50 pence this is your opportunity of course to obtain a piece of art that is going to be passed down the family. As we say, it's going to be an heirloom piece. It's going to be a talking piece. It's been very carefully reproduced on cotton fiber fabric there on the canvas itself. I've got so many questions I want to ask Pat as well about the painting and the techniques as well. But just look at that painting. It's absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. And the mood that you've seen there on the picture itself, we've spoken about how the mood will change with the lighting. You can see how the water captures the light. You can see the beautiful light in the trees from the cottage itself, the lighting coming from the windows. It's just incredible. Of course, Thomas Kincaid, known as the painter of light himself. Now, we've got more to show you as well because we've got Make-A-Wish canvas next. Make-A-Wish. Now, I can tell you this one's already busy already busy. I, you know, I, as I walked into the studio and saw the different paintings around the studio, do you know, every, each and every one blows you away. Mm -hmm. But we've just seen here on screen, Pat, there. Look at the path. You can see. Oh, it's, it's as though it's just been raining really there. You can mm -hmm. see the gleam there of the water on the path. Look at the warmth of the lights in the windows mm -hmm. there. It's so important. One of the things that Tom loved to do, and you'll notice it in all of his cottages, that all the lights are on. Yeah. You know, when we were kids growing up, uh, sadly, our, our parents divorced and my mother was a single parent and had to raise us, but we always came home to an empty house and darkened windows, and yes. that affected Tom. So Tom paints the lights on in every cottage, in every cottage that he creates, and there's always smoke coming out of the chimney as well. Now, what does that suggest? 
suggests a couple things. It suggests that there are people there waiting, that somebody's waiting for your embrace and wants to give yes. you a hug when you walk through the door. Again, it's this idea of family and home hearth that's so important. It's also, quite frankly, in these beautiful little cottages, and I understand that you live in one. I do live in a cottage. I've got to say, it's very pretty, but not quite as pretty as the one we're looking at here. <laughs> I'd love to think when I get home, my lights will be glowing like that as well, but they won't be because there's nobody else in there. Oh, <laughs> well, what, for Tom, what these cottages represented was the opportunity for romance. He loved coming yes. to England. He oh. loved coming to England and paint. And he and Nanette would rent these little cottages up in the Cotswolds, and he would stay there for a month or a couple months and just paint plein air, open air paintings uh, to his heart's desire. He'd take all of that source material home wow. and he would come up with these beautiful studio works that you see here. Oh wow. Well I can tell you everyone is loving this one. We're approach, approaching quarter of the stock gone on this particular one. You can see the details down the screen. Again we can offer you a saving and a flexi buy option. You're saving £10 on this one. Two it's payments beautiful. Absolutely of beautiful. £30. I'm looking at that pump it's, again it, there. It, it's, I, it's I can't profound. get over it. The, the, even in the studio lights through the TV you can see the you, glow that oh, we're talking can't. about. That path looks wet. It does. It, it, it really it does. Really, the the really shimmering does. of the light is just absolutely profound in relation to it. And I love the idea of the, the, the little wishing well, too. I mean, for Tom, he had four little girls, and for uh, a father, they always had wishes to make. So he painted this so they could make wishes into that little well. And, you know, what is a wish but a prayer that, you know, <laughs> you have for your heart? And uh, he loved the idea of being able to provide that. Yeah. to his little girls. Oh, how wonderful. I just spotted the N on the path there as well. I wonder how many more we can spot as we're looking at this one. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, you're, just, you're becoming I'm fascinated with I the N. I am. I'm just, I'm just Eventually you're going to have to be medicated stuff. for it because you're going to wake up at night and start <laughs> looking at these things as well. Oh, no, is that one on the top of the well there? Right at the top, is that an N? Could be, yeah. A really subtle one. It, 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 and, and folks, don't be surprised. He, he'll hide them in trees. The limbs will yeah. create and so just everything you can think of he used to create it. The record is that for one painting was 168 hidden ends in it. Most of them have between 2 and 20, but he went crazy on that yeah. one for one reason or another. Oh, wow. Oh, you are, you're going to absolutely love these. When you, these arrive in your home, put them in a pride of place. Do choose carefully where you put them, of course. Now, the one we're looking at the moment, very busy on this one. It is a canvas wrap, so the frame isn't included in this. You could get this framed if you like, but I think as it looks there, it works beautifully just as it yeah, is. That's exactly right. It certainly does. You've got every bit of detail you could ever wish for in a painting. That's the glory of the canvas wrap presentation. Yeah. There's an internal frame on it. Yes, you can frame it if you want, but you don't need to frame it. As a matter no. of fact, for a lot of uh, contemporary designers, they don't want the frames. They want people to focus on the art. So the internal frames are, you get this out of the box, you can put it directly on the wall, and it looks absolutely Incredible. beautiful. You can frame it if you want, but there's absolutely no need for it. This is a very, very good way, entryway to get involved with the world of Kincaid art. Fabulous. Oh, just get it straight on the wall and then start looking for those ends as well. And, you know, you, you're going to be drawn into the, the cottage itself. It's as though you just want to walk in there, straight into the door, and sit in that cosy room. It really, really is incredible, isn't it? But we've got more to show you as well. We are very busy on that particular one. But <laughs> we've still goes got on. more to show you as well. Oh, but it wait, there's does. more. <laughs> there is more. There is more. Now, don't forget, on the one that we've just been looking at there, you can still see it on the screen, Make-A-Wish Canvas Wrap. You are saving that £10. Two payments of £30 if you want to take flexi buy option there. 002855. We are busy on that one. Now, the next one, we're also busy on this one as well. Now, this is the first one that caught my eye as I walked into the studio because it was, it was the one in front of me, but again, it was... Pat, I've got to say, the light again, mm. just look at the windows here, look at the light in front of the cabin there I as well. It. And the chair, you know, the seat, the little seat there. Yeah. So many little details to, to discover in this particular piece, it, the little dogs, the little Adirondack chair, the little teapot. Nanette was a collector of teapots, whenever you see a oh, teapot wow. in there, that's Tom pre pretending that Nanette was sitting in the Adirondack chair, possibly with him. Uh, 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 rowing around in the boat and fishing a little bit. I love this particular piece, Peaceful Retreat. The idea of cabins yeah. in the wood, to me, it's just it's very, very uh, soul cleansing. You know, Tom yeah. used to talk about seeing the face of God in the mountain vista, hearing his voice in the rustle of leaves, uh, experience him in, in terms of the, the breath of the wind. All of that serenity, all of that joy, all of that sense of purpose is captured in this piece. You look at the mountain vista, and I, again, you look at the depth of field there, you got the, 
the, the, the, the mist and the, the, the mid ground there that really pulls it apart. And look at the glow of the light. It is just relation. incredible. It, it, it's absolutely incredible. It, it really is. But you get that sense of wonderment of man's place in nature. You know, that's where Tom was most at home, yeah. rambling around in these beautiful mountains. We were raised in a little town called Placerville in California, in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And as kids, Miss Evie, you look at the back of the boat there, just looking at oh, this. Oh, yes. Thing. Everett is his uh, uh, third daughter. So, uh, oh. uh, again, just little tributes here and there to him. But the, we grew up in this mountain scene. So all of this to Tom is very, very familiar and very, very friendly, but ultimately uplifting. And again, hanging one of these paintings in the home, every time you see it, that sense yeah. of uplift. I, I yeah. swear, folks, I, I got no horse in this race, and the sense that I just want everybody to be happy. Yeah. I, I really do. But you bring one of these home, it's going to be transformative. It really is going to affect you in ways um, when you see it. You're going to smile every day you do, and if you smile every day when you see it, it's going to make your day a little bit brighter. It certainly is. Do you know, we were talking about this at the start of the show, Pat. You were saying about, you know, Thomas just wants everybody to be caught up in the romance of his pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, you're telling the story about where you grew up as children, you know, the, the surroundings that you were in. And I'm finding myself listening to you and looking at the, the picture on the screen there as well. And I am physically in my head. I am there. I am there. I'm doing the painting. I wish I was. But, you know, <laughs> that's where it's taking me. So I totally understand what mm -hmm. you're saying there really you know to have something like this on your wall as you say just even if it's just a glance every day take that vacation Absolutely. I loved that phrase you used I Absolutely. thought it was very very clever I can see exactly what you mean now we've spotted another end there as well oh. if you look on the <laughs> chimney there it is oh there, there you go that's another you're going to become the queen of ends. <laughs> the, the, the British queen of ends. Something else I've got to mention, like the plume of smoke. Just look at that. It looks so realistic. It looks mm -hmm. so, you know, the, you're just looking at that cabin there with the plume of uh, smoke just coming from the absolutely. chimney there as it, it well. Really is. And this suggests that there's a hearth burning and somebody's waiting for you of there. Of course. I, I just absolutely love that. You know, the other thing I love about this particular presentation is the size. Because not only can you hang it on the wall, if you get two of them, you can, it'll carry a full wall, you know, like a major piece would. But it's small enough so this could be an accent piece. And those odd little nooks and crannies that you have in your yeah. house, you don't know what to decorate, this will fit. Or if you have a bookshelf, you can get a little easel and you oh, put it on a bookshelf nice or you put it on a mantle with a little easel. There's lots of ways to use this in your home decor. You know, again, people collect and they have... The, the record in in the states is 495 pieces, limited really? edition. Yeah, that one individual owns in wow. relations, and they just find new ways to use them because of the size and the different ways that we present. Of course. Well, this one, a great size, coming to size because 14 inches by 14 inches. Again, it's a wrap, so you've got that canvas wrap there. That's all you need. You don't mm -hmm. have to put a frame around this. It looks beautiful, just as it is. Details on the screen there for you. 807-564 is the item number, and again, a saving of £10 on this one and FlexiBuy, two payments of £30 once again on this one. Don't forget, each one of the prints does carry that certificate of authenticity there as well. You know that this is the mm -hmm. genuine so item. Important. You really, It is very, very important. As we've mentioned earlier, there are copies out there. You don't want that. This is going to be something that you are going to treat and use as an heirloom. Pass it through the family. It's going to be a talking point. It really, really is. Do you know, I'm just thinking, where would I have if I just had the one, where would I hang it? And I would have to, I think, as I come out of my bedroom in the morning and I walk down my stairs, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's an alcove next to my fireplace that straight away, that's what is in my view. Mm -hmm. That's where I would hang I my first that. painting, yeah. I think, because it would make me smile every morning I as I walk suggest, downstairs. I mean, some place that you see every day is a good place yeah. to start. Or if you have a place, a little meditation alcove that where you go and just sort of, you know, relax and take your deep breath, you know, that's a good place to hang it too. Yeah. But folks, all through the house, you're, I, I, this particular size and these particular pieces, you're going to find places for them. It, it really will become part of the family. Certainly will. Well, we're looking again at the detail that you can see on these prints here. Absolutely stunning. Do you know, I really could talk to Pat all day long. I just think, you know, the story behind the family. Of course, there's Pat, there's Thomas. I will ask about other family members as well. We've mentioned Thomas's daughters as well, uh, featured. or Some of the homes, I think, are featured in some of the paintings as well. So I need to find out about those. But we're looking at some beautiful, beautiful artwork here. If you could just hold one piece in your home, just one piece, You've got some beauties to choose from here, and yes, you are going to treasure them. You really are. Oh, 
Oh, yes, there is so many questions now I've got in my head I want to answer. ask. But I don't think I'm going to do it all in an hour. But the next item we're going to talk about is this one. This is Everett's Cottage. Or, well, I think there is a story behind this one, isn't there? Would this be the name of a cottage of one of Thomas's daughters? Absolutely. Tom had four daughters. I had three sons. Four daughters? Yes. Ah. So God has a sense of humor, clearly. <laughs> Poor Tom would call me and say, Pat, I, I don't understand. I was like, brother, I got three boys. <laughs> you know, I throw some kibble on the ground and let them fight for it, and that's pretty much my job as a parent. And, and, oh, dear. But at any rate, he had four beautiful daughters, truly wonderful uh, uh, women, each and every one of them. And Everett's is his uh, uh, youngest. And there is Everett's Cottage, Windsor's Cottage, uh, Merritt's Cottage, and Chandler's Cottage. Oh. And each girl had their own cottage, and he painted the originals and he put them in the room at their christening and it's just an absolutely beautiful tribute to his daughter and this one is for his youngest Everett and just an absolutely glorious example of Tom's mastery of light. I love the dappling coming down the path of the light coming through the trees. The, again the, the, the ripples of the, uh, the water reflect it so nicely and of course the internal lights of the cottage are on. A beautiful tribute to a beautiful daughter and just a, 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 to me classic, classic Kincaid. It certainly is. You know, you mentioned there the first thing I was, I was going to speak about, about the light, and that's the dappling, as, as you say, as you come down the path. You can see, so you've got those little gaps there in the shrubbery, or the flowers, or the trees at the side there, and the light is just creeping through there and illuminating the pathway. Yes, then you're drawn to those windows, aren't you? Each mm -hmm. and every one of them has got that warmth, that glow there as well. But look at the water. You can see that little bit of a waterfall there. I and love again, that. how the light's catching the water. Just beautiful. Beautiful. We always talk about the, the, the luminous effect, but again, the other part of luminosity is the idea of depth of field. It draws a flat plane into dimension, and that waterfall does that so well. Mm. It, 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 you hang this on the wall, and again, you start playing with the lights. It's almost going to seem like you can put your hand into these things. It, it, it's that profound in terms of the effect. Depth of field and luminosity together provide a magic experience in terms of looking at the art. I also love the idea of the light post. Yeah. It's, it, again, Tom painted a metaphor. We talked about the stepping stones. Well, a, a light post is a beacon. It basically suggests you have safe harbor here. Yes. And everybody needs those safe harbors. Everybody needs a place to go, a place to be, where you can step away from the chaos of life. That is an absolutely wonderful example of those sorts of messages. This is a light be you know, beacon bringing you into a a home situation where someone's waiting for you with open arms. Oh, it truly is beautiful. Now this option again is including the frame that you're seeing here as well, which is, I've got to say, just works so beautifully mm -hmm. with really the is. print itself. It it's absolutely gorgeous. I think for me, this is my favorite so far. It's just gorgeous. And, and the framing is, is, is so well done. I mean, Tom yeah. uh, had very particular tastes, and we try to match those tastes in relation to the, the particular piece of art. So you're getting a frame that would match to Tom's eye, the yeah. particular piece. But you got to understand, this is wood framing. Uh, this is cloth lining. Uh, the, the brass plate is engraved. It's very, very profound in terms of the presentation. We call it a, a museum quality yeah. presentation. Because it, it really is. You could spend a lot of money on the frame alone, hundreds you of dollars in the States. Could. That is so, so true. I know myself from my mum my used to do a lot of cross stitch, used to get them properly framed. And, you know, to go for quite a basic frame, it was an awful lot mm -hmm. of money. So for something as elegant as this, and you've got that internal mount there as well, it's just beautiful. Of course, you've got the certificate included. You've got the little brass uh, plaque there as well. Mm -hmm. It just It's just that finished item, just seeing it exactly as it is, is just absolutely, absolutely. gorgeous. And it's it really wired is. on the back, too. So when you get it home and you open the box, you can immediately pull it out and you can enjoy it immediately. There's nothing that you have to do in terms oh. of the framing. And of course, that certificate, we keep getting back to it. I mean, I know it seems like a small point, but it really, really isn't. That certificate guarantees that this is Tom's content and the company's quality. This is a piece, again, that you're going to be able to hang on the wall and enjoy but it's going to be something that will touch your kids, touch your grandkids, and go on down through the line. Definitely. Well, if you'd like to go for this one, the details are there for you. Item number 147466. Again, we've got a flexi-buy option. Look at the saving on this one. £280 is the saving. We can split this down over two payments, two payments of £92 and £50, of course. There you are. Details on the screen for you. Of course, you can find everything on the website as well, but we do still have more to show you. If you want a piece of work from Thomas Kincaid, if you think 
thinking, yes, I want to start collecting, or I just want that one piece, something that I can use as an heirloom, something that's going to pass through the family. Maybe just waiting to see the rest of the items, then they're well worth waiting for. But of course, maybe you've already fallen in love with your piece of art as well. How could you not? I think these are absolutely incredible pieces. They really, really are. Now, we've also got for you the easels that you've seen some of the artwork um, portrayed on there. We can offer these as well. So if you'd like your own easel, these are from the SAA, actually. Cool. Now, you're saving £17 here, £54.50. pence. You're getting the easel with the bag. Uh, it is classed as a, a sketching easel. This is a metal easel for you there as well. You know, you can adjust this as well. So if you want to do your artwork on there, you can do. If you want to use it for displaying, you can do as well, of course. Item number 509105. Now, something a little bit different, and I've got an idea. This is likely to be a popular item. Now, <laughs> if you are a Disney fan, yeah. look at this, Beauty and the Beast. How on earth do we get to this point? Isn't it wonderful? Well, my dad used to take Tom and I to Disneyland every year in, and when, in California. He'd come up and pick us up. It'd be one of his big trips with us. And we fell in love with Disney. Who hasn't fallen in oh. love with Disney? You know, for children in the world or for children inside us all, Disney has been a cornerstone of all of our lives. Well, Disney's, Disneyland's 50th anniversary came and Tom wanted to paint it. And he talked to the folks at Disney and they graciously allowed it to happen. Tom painted it and that was immense success. Everybody loved it. When we think about the Kincaid collector and Disney collectors, they're, they're the same folks. There's a lot of crossover yeah. in terms of Disney and Kincaid in relation to collectability. Well, after that initial success, what Disney did is graciously open up the vault, literally, to Tom and say, you know what, all of the great Disney classic, all the films that Disney created, Tom and his studio provided uh, Disney the opportunity for a Kincaid take on those subjects. Oh, wow. And here we have Beauty and Beast falling in love. If you're a fan of Kincaid, this is the perfect piece. If you're yeah. a fan of Disney, this is the perfect piece. If you have children, this is the perfect piece because they're going to oh, love definitely. it. If you have a child inside and you grew up at Disney, this is the perfect yeah. piece. Folks, you may be getting the idea. This is the perfect piece. No matter what you collect, this is absolutely going to delight you. It really is. It certainly is. And as we're looking on screen there again, the warmth, the glow in those windows, you know, it just the fact that it's Disney, it doesn't take away from the beautiful light that you're seeing here, oh, the mood of, of the image, right. the print there you're as well. Right. It's just beautiful. It really, really is. Look at the rainbow as well. I, I, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because this is a Kincaid take on Disney. That luminous effect, everything that Tom's known for in terms of his particular style of art is in this painting, in addition to the wonderful Disney storylines and characters and so on. And I love the fact that he tried to include all the characters. You have Lumiere and Cogsworth and Mrs. Potts and Chip and, the, of course, Beauty and the Beast. And this is another thing that is a lot of fun. In t some of Tom's Disney pieces, other characters were hidden. Yeah. Characters that didn't belong in the film, but for Tom, or for the Kincaid Studios was fun to place into the given piece. So again, this is an opportunity for exploration. Another thing that often happened in these paintings were mouse ears were hidden as opposed to oh, the end. Wow. So again, I'm not gonna spoil the fun and point <laughs> things out, but having said that, Bring this home and I guarantee you, yourself and your kids are going to go nuts looking for mouse ears and looking for the little characters hidden in these pieces. It's just a lot of oh, fun, wow. folks. And I always say this, I mean it sincerely, if you're grandparents and you have grandkids that come over and they're going to stay at one of the rooms in your house, decorate that room with these Disney pieces. It will make it a treat for those really kids will. to come over. They'll want to come to play with the paintings, look at the yeah. glow, to find the hidden characters. It's just a meaningful focal point for family discussion. It certainly is. Isn't it stunning? It really is. 667-769 is the item number for this one. Again, it's one of the wraps for you. You've got that beautiful canvas wrap there. 14 inches by 14 inches, a £10 saving on this one as well. And that flexi buy option, once again, two payments of £30. Oh, whether you're a collector of Kincaid, as we've said, whether you're a collector of Disney, then of course this is for you, isn't it? We have still got more to show you, by the way, but I think everybody's fallen in love so far with everything we've seen. <laughs> but wait, Absolutely there's more. Everything. There is more. There is more. We can't stop ourselves. We're out of control here. <laughs> Somebody, We need help it more me. than an hour. How come we've only got, we got one hour for this show? Help That's me. what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> they are Catherine's it. holding me <laughs> captive. <laughs> <laughs> There's one question I'm absolutely dying to ask as well. It's about the light. It's about the light. And 
I've got to ask, Pat. Mm -hmm. I mean, you paint as well. A little bit, I sure do. You mm -hmm. paint. In fact, you you told me a wonderful story before we went live to it. Can <laughs> we just tell? Because it is quite a quick one, but I thought this was brilliant. Well, <laughs> very early on in, in life, Tom and I entered the same art contest, and as it happens, I won. So I, <laughs> I never let him forget it. I always call him every night. And say, Tom, did you win that art contest? <laughs> You know, I, I can practice and get better, but you can't change history, brother. So, <laughs> sorry. But, you know, and I had nothing left to prove. I just sort of oh. dropped the mic. You know, <laughs> oh, I that's why that. I gave it up. That's why I gave it up. Oh, oh, that's incredible. Now we have got more show. Oh, that question I was going to ask actually was about the light. Now, just going back a little bit with uh, Thomas when he first started mm -hmm. painting as a child, you mm -hmm. said he'd have the table there with the towel on mm -hmm. it and his crayons mm -hmm. out, watercolors. Mm -hmm. How many different mediums? As an adult, would he work with when well, he, he, you know, he really, really was in this in a big way, and these incredible paintings it's, it's, were it's materializing. A, it's a good question. It's an important question. You know, first and foremost, what Tom was was an artist, and an artist lives a life of creativity. Yeah. And everything you can imagine, as, as a medium, Tom was into. People don't realize this, but Tom sculpted. People don't realize this, but he was a watercolorist, brilliant. People don't realize he's a sketch artist. He painted in a variety of different styles and oil as yeah. well. Beyond that, he, he was an inventor. His studio was filled with contraptions that he made. It was, it was like there's that book Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with a crazy inventor that made all yeah. these. Yeah. It was that sort of uh, experience. His easel it could move up and down with counterweights and all these crazy gears, sort of a steampunk thing. He just had oh, wow. a creative mind and was constantly doing new things and trying new things in order to entertain himself. Oh, wow. I, I, you know, it's fascinating. It really, really is. Let's have a look at this one before I ask another question, because I have got another one I need to ask. Let's have a look at... We've got Snow White here. Now, this is the cottage I want to live in. Snow White is Snow White's the cottage. cottage. Look at that. I love it. I'm going to warn you. People always say, it's Snow White's there, but where are the dwarves? <laughs> well, if you, if you look at the, the cottage, if you can go into the cottage and look along the front of it, you're going to see seven little pickaxes there. Oh, so, uh, oh the, look. The, 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 the dwarves are all inside. There we've got four. And there's some on the other side as well. They're there. You'll find them. There we are. There we are. So we don't see any hidden dwarfs anywhere. We can't there, there, there's no in. There's no hidden dwarfs. They're, oh. Well, they're, they're peeking out the window at you, actually. I love that <laughs> or, idea. Or, or, or if you get one, I'll paint one in for you. So you, oh. you'll, you'll have There's your no own. poisonous apple anywhere in there, is there? No, there's no. not. It's, but we, this, this was, it's interesting. When Tom was painting this <gasps> series of paintings, the first painting, Snow White Discovers the Cottage, this was it. He took a, basically a single scene from a piece and tried to capture it. After this piece, he shifted. He created what he was calling epic narratives, where he tried to capture the entire film on a single canvas. There's an end. There's an end. There's an end. You can't get away from it. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful representation of that very monumental film, Snow White. And I, I, I adore this piece. You know, it's just pure Kincaid again. The luminosity, the, the river, the little bridge. We talked about the idea of bridges being a metaphor for overcoming obstacles in life so he put all of that in there that sort of messaging the lights are on in the home somebody's waiting yes. so it's the dwarves waiting for snow white to come all of those oh. wonderful garden florals that tom is so known for you know tom was a gardener himself was he oh yeah he li lived in a, a little town in uh, the santa cruz mountains and a lot of sea breezes and mists so flowers would grow so he would at, around his studio ivy gate studio he would be out and about planting flowers around his little benches where he would take a, an afternoon breather from oh. painting and that sort of thing. And he just loved nature. He really did. That's where he felt for himself most yeah. attuned to yeah. everything. I think you can see that throughout the paintings as well, can't you? Well, let's have another look at this one because, of course, details there for you. It's a, a canvas wrap for you again. Absolutely beautiful, just as it is. You don't need to do anything other than hang it in the prime of place on your wall, of course. You're going to get the certificate.